Welcome to this special 250th episode of Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes. On this super episode, we're going to discuss Spider-Man Far From Home, Stranger Things Season 3, and then the whole podcast is going to take a dark, dark turn. All of this and so much more on this amazing episode of Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes. Nerds Who Get Laid. Welcome to Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, with that inflection at the end there, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Even though we've handed you the keys to the castle of the kiss I can the kings the keys to the kingdom. Kings yeah, keys kings to, the to the kingdom. kingdom. <laughs> that's I'm sure that's how that saying goes. I'm pretty sure that's the old saying. And I'm, and yet he flounders to get to those areolas. Uh-huh. There was a Little Mermaid joke there somewhere. Anyway. Oh, Flounders, yeah. Yeah, I like how Chuck had to think that about was, That was pretty what? rough. What was that? It, was, it was a terrible was joke. Yeah. the fish? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're a little out of practice, guys. I love that fish half. <laughs> but here we are, and we're back. It's been a while since we gave you an update, so we decided it was time to stop by, sit down, raise the unbutton in his pants, and yeah, get it's, comfortable. It's yeah. just like... The old days. <laughs> it is. Yeah, except I'm sitting a lot closer. <laughs> and we can see each other a lot better. It's a, a lot well, more light. Too much light, maybe. I think, it's, yeah. I, th- I think that's really what's throwing me off right now is there's <laughs> too much light going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is only our second podcast in the new um, new studio. Yeah. So uh, if you guys yeah. don't know, if you hadn't called up, if, uh, we have been taking a hiatus. That's why you hadn't seen our stuff popping up. This is episode 250, so we, um, we're going to do something special at the end here. We've got a really bad decision that we've decided to do just for you guys. Um, but we Man. wanted to kind of – there a lot of stuff's happened since two, uh, issue two, or episode 249. Yeah, and we're you. just going to kind of let you know uh, what was, what's going on with us and what's going on with the podcast and um, just kind of bullshit about some other – Pop culture shit. Essentially, this is a suicide note because <laughs> we're going to kill ourselves at the end of this episode. Uh, there is a fail safe, so as we fall down dying, it uploads up to the cloud for you. Um, so stick around it's, because you will my definitely. My computer's attached to my pacemaker yes. right now. Once that quits working, <laughs> it hits upload. I thought your pacemaker was keeping your computer running. You no, will no, no, no. No. definitely hear a death rattle from one of us yes. at the end of this. So uh, before we go with that, um, we're going to kind of just kind of fill you in on what's been going on, as Ray said, and then we're going to talk about Stranger Things, the new season that came out this year. Yeah. And we're also going to dive into Spider-Man. Far from home. Far from home, because those are probably the two biggest things that have happened this year for us on the nerd culture side. So we're going to go ahead and throw a warning out. There will be spoilers for that, because keep in mind, Chuck is part of this podcast. There is no secrets here. No. Um, but before we do that, we'll kind of throw a nerd on, but it's a year nerd on. So these are kind of the big wins. And looking at my list, I realize how sad my life is sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to go last, and I'm going to let Chuck kick us off with what he's been nerding on because he was so prepared yep. as we were making yep. these lists. Okay, because uh, I actually have a nerd, so fuck you guys. Uh, but lately, uh, I haven't done anything except for work. But uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but uh, no, I have uh, been... <sighs> Using uh, Audible still, and uh, I've been going through the Game of Thrones series, Song of Fire and Ice. <laughs> All right, glad yours is exciting, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, is I never re- never went through the books, never listened to them, and I'm just like, since the show's over with now, figured, all right, I'll go through the books and. Uh, you know, doing it the right way. And now that all the uh, hype uh, has uh, completely uh, died. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe those books but, uh, will get down to one credit a month <laughs> instead of two. Yeah. yeah. No, I got them all for one. But uh, regardless, oh, that, really? also I've been uh, too. catching yeah. up on movies that I missed in theaters because uh, for a while I was walking, still walking. I don't have a truck, so if somebody give me a ride. But uh, I was able to. You watch. know, if you would have left the I don't have a truck, it just makes you sound like you're really I don't know in touch with nature. <laughs> nature yeah. Yeah. Like it fucking sucks. It's I've been hot walking outside. like in kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting my leg up it that high. Travel, but yeah. uh, I missed out on like uh, Spider Verse, Aquaman. Uh, Glass, and I've just been able to go back and start watching some of those. Watched Aquaman uh, this past week. And the, 
It's, it's good. a movie. It's good. It's a movie. It's I up mean, there with Dark Tower, probably. Uh, fun it's action not movie. that bad. <laughs> but uh, it's a fun action movie. It was, yeah. but I, it's, if I would have seen it really when it first scenes. came out, I probably would have enjoyed it more instead of months after it came out. I don't know. It it was fine. Like well, I went to see it, and it it was fine. It wasn't horrible. It absolutely was not horrible. It wasn't great. I don't think it was a billion dollar movie. I don't know how that yeah. happened, but I mean, it did. It was a slow happen. Christmas. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. But uh, other than that, uh, still going through the uh, Marvel Legends, hunting them down. Our Walmart here has been we keep spotty as late. To, we keep trying to get him to get on our Instagram and do Instagram stories of I don't him. Have an Instagram. You, we have an Instagram. Just sign into it. You do have, do an, have an Instagram. Instagram. Also, <laughs> God damn you, Chuck. <laughs> Why are you so mad at me? Because but, uh, I'm going through and uh, looking at uh, sets that I can uh, state possibly review, point. take pictures of. But uh, the two sets I'm working on now, I finished, was the uh, Caliban Wave and working oh, on the you can't new say that word. Window. Window. <laughs> Caliban? <laughs> yeah. We don't need to know about your terrorist interactions. <laughs> it begins with a C. Uh, did you uh, learn about them when you were living in the ditch? Yeah. <laughs> underneath that bridge? Is wow, that, some things have never changed. I'm always getting talked over. Is, but, that, uh, is that the most current uh, legends? No, Caliban Wave was about... Uh, Month ago, two okay. months ago, maybe. But What's uh, the current one? Uh, the current one is the Wendigo build a figure set with Uncanny oh, X Force Wolverine. Caliban. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nightcrawler. That's the cool one. Yeah. yeah, and I just need now Cannonball, Boom Boom, and the badass Mister Sinister to finish that one. You do need some Boom Boom. Caliban yeah. had a pretty good uh, selection too, though. Yeah, Jubilee, was, uh, Forge, Gambit, Beast, yeah. Beast. Yeah, they are really. I cool. haven't even I've seen, seen the Skull, Beast one anyway. Skullbuster and. Skullbuster looks Nobody cool. cares have, about him. I have yeah. no idea who he is, but his figure looks yeah, really no good. No one cares about Skullbuster. He's one of the uh, the Reavers. Reavers yeah. yeah. And uh, other than that, uh, fell in love with uh, Amazon original, The Boys. It's if you haven't watched it, just <sighs> it's sign up for list. Amazon Prime and watch it. It's amazing. That is all I'm going to say because apparently I'm spoil master over here. But uh, just watch it. It's amazing. I've heard nothing but good things. I do plan it on is watching good. it. Yeah, it's on my list. Start it, but uh, that's what I've been up to. A All lot right. of nothing. Let's uh, come on over to Ray, a big All brown right, town. Right. What he's been? Uh, we've been playing a. This is. Uh, I love this. We've been playing a lot more board games lately. We oh, have yeah, done that too. And, um, yeah, we're really we, we have Monopoly Charles. now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you want someone that's going to kick your ass at Clue? Look at this guy. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. I've actually never played Clue, um, <clears throat> but uh, we um. We've been doing a lot more board games, uh, which is good because I have a lot of board games and um, more coming all the time. And uh, we're going to be doing some reviews of those and hopefully doing some uh, some videos and, and stuff like that. So uh, that's one of the things that we're working on during this hiatus that you're not hearing from us. We're in the background actually doing work. Yes. So, and some of it is playing board games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Allison. I got to go upstairs and work. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's been a lot of fun. We played uh, Star Wars Outer Rim the other day. Uh, that was I, I enjoyed that one. We yes. played um, <laughs> one that I kickstarted like five years ago. It was like the dumbest cutesy looking game go nuts for donuts Best oh. game of the year. <laughs> that one. We, we probably played 20 rounds of that yeah we we, we beat the hell out of that one that one was a lot of fun a lot yeah, of fun really um, good and one that i missed in kickstarter I, I i didn't think anyone here would be interested in the theme so i just let it go and then um Allison and Elliot got it for me for Father's Day. Uh, it came a little bit late, but uh, Western Legend. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We played that. Great we played, we game. played that one back to back. Um, me, Chuck, and Nathan were able to get together one night, and TJ wasn't here. And then the next weekend, we or maybe the next, was it the next night? It was a couple of nights later or something? It was, or was, it the next it week? was within a week. It, it was, was like, yeah. yeah, a few nights later. Okay. Uh, TJ was over, and we're like, let's play Western Legends again. We love that one. So yeah. we're, we, we've got reviews of that coming up and, and some other stuff. I won um, the first game, by the way. <laughs> he did. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. now he walks around with a fucking cowboy hat annoying the <laughs> shit out of us and <laughs> stole, wants us to call him Marshall. <laughs> stole all my boots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and li- like I said, uh, w- w- we had bought a-, a horse instead of a car. <laughs> 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 oh, the donkey is out in that ditch prospecting yeah. for gold. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps finding. <laughs> he finds nuggets. Yeah. It's just a, a lot different. Than yeah. gold. He's, He's in the to... retention ponds of Lake <laughs> City, panning for gold. <laughs> he, I mean, Chuck does kind of look like a prospector. 
<laughs> oh man! He started, he uh, pulled out his front <laughs> teeth so he whistles when he talks. <laughs> what are you two oh. guys over there doing? <laughs> Is it he in so many harmonicas now? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I had a baby. Uh, we talked about that last podcast, so that's that's honestly been taking up a lot of my time. Um, and it's great. I mean, we we really we we like the kid, so we'll probably keep him around. I guess so. He's made the cut. You know? Yeah. Hashtag I think our ninety life. days are over, so we can't send him back. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you can still try and shuffle him back up there. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and Living Color had a skit about that. <laughs> um. Well, I don't think we got to discuss this at all on the podcast because by the mm. time it was uh, announced, we were on hiatus. Uh, Jonathan Hickman is currently writing the X Men, and he's one of my favorite current. Um, writers, comic book writers, and of course y'all know I love X-Men. Uh, the first two issues of House of X have come out, and I just went and picked up the my my um, issue number two today, and <clears throat> I've avoided spoilers somehow. I haven't got to read it yet, but the guy was like, oh, this one's spiked in price. It's up to $15 now. Let me check and see if you get it for that, because I have a like pool list now. And uh, he was like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 pull this, get it for a regular price. I'm like, well, shit, better, better. But uh, so, number two or number, number two, one? Yeah. Number two. So um, I, I, I know it has something to do with more Mattagger, but that's all I know. Um, and I'm excited to jump into that because, uh, like I said, I love Hickman. And, and people yeah. all over the Internet are like, is anyone else confused? Does anyone else know what's going on? And that's like how he just throws you in in the deep end. Which and it's is good. Is yeah. it kind of he's rebooting or he's doing his own thing with the X-Men? You have no idea yet. You it, Like he just kind of throws you in. I think it's like s- several months from the last time you saw him and everything is different and you don't know why. Okay. And he works backwards from that. So it's it's like a it's all it's like a mystery. Yeah. But he's also very much I, I always say that he's more clear, uh, Chris Claremont than Chris Claremont is at this point because he's the guy that will <clears throat> put nuggets of things um not the kind that Chuck is painting yeah, for, painting but, for you know, no. but uh, nuggets. Yeah. Or not the ones that he finds <laughs> that, either. Yes. Yeah. Uh but he'll put nuggets of things golden in, corn. In an, <laughs> In an issue, and it won't come up till like, like two or three years later. Oh, nice. So I, I love that long game. So, yeah, that's been... I've been loving so that. So he's doing House of X, and isn't there another one? There's House Powers of X and of X. Powers of X right now. And then the everything after that is Saga of X. And they're going to be rebooting... Uh, not rebooting, but starting like number a one issues. Yeah. yeah, a new volume of X-Men, which is just adjectiveless. Uh, new Mutants, The Marauders, Excalibur... Mm-hmm. Fallen Angels and X Force. Oh my so god! I went and added all of those today to my to my pull list because yeah. uh, he's doing New Mutants and X Men. Interesting. So, so I'm really into that. So um, House of X and Powers of X are both Hickman. Yeah. Okay. And that's kind of show running, quote unquote, the rest of it too. Is what now? Is he show kind running. of quote unquote show running? I know they don't, I don't really know. have that term. But, you <clears throat> yeah. Know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I think they've given it to him for the next few years. That's good. So. He'll probably have somewhat of a control over what's going on in the rest of it, mm-hmm. um, which is excellent, excellent, because he is such a good writer. If you haven't read his new uh, Avengers or Avengers, or I haven't read his Fantastic Four yet, I'm kind of keeping that on the back burner. Yeah. Um, because his other stuff I enjoy so much. I want something really good that I can jump into at some point. Speaking of which, um, things that I have kept on the back burner and have not read, uh, I'm going through Alan Moore's Swamp Thing currently. Oh, wow. Because that was one that I just... Ha- I, I've, I've had several of the graphic novels. I have the DC Universe and everything. Uh, and we, me and Allison started watching the TV show, the Swamp Thing TV show, which we really liked, uh, which got canceled and I think really sucks. So hashtag save Swamp Thing. Uh, but from that, I was like, you know, this would be a good time to start that Alan Moore um, stuff. It's all on the DC app, DC Universe. So I've been going through it, and it is really good. I, I mean, I know people talk about it all the time, but uh, it is really, really good. And uh, it's gotten to a point now, though, that I'm in a few issues. I think I've had three or four issues that have been very Alan Moore trippy, um, which I don't mind his real weird stuff sometimes but uh, i'm ready for him to pull it back into like the story he was telling he was still telling a story but it was like kind of one-offs and everything so i've been enjoying that we enjoyed the tv show we have a couple more episodes i think uh maybe nathan talked about watching um doom patrol 
uh, maybe the last podcast. If not, I was watching that as well. Doom Patrol is really good. Check it out if you haven't. Yeah. the Most of the shows they've been doing for the DC Universe have been pretty good, so I hope that keeps keeps going. So, uh, And I think that's that's about it for me. All right. Well, let's uh, you know. world travel over to TJ as he regales us. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Um, yeah, I went to Greece uh, this summer uh, with Katie's uh, EF tours that she does every two years. Um, it's a great trip. Uh, it's beautiful country over there. The um, My favorite part was the Poseidon's Temple. Uh, oh, it, like a it's universal? Kind of like that, <laughs> except... Probably about the same. In real life. and uh, About the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the water over there is just beautiful and clear and everything. I really love the food, of course, uh, being a um, husky guy. I, I love the food. Husky, I miss the word husky. It's not used yeah. enough anymore. No, it's not. <laughs> we should have adult husky pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, You're not um, fat, you're husky. Thanks, Mom. Can I get the slim fit huskies? <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the history of the region, too. It's just astonishing to walk into a place. You know, It's got 1,500 years of history. Yeah, and it's still and, there. Yeah, it's still just standing there, and just all the different things that have it, happened. It's and, so wild to think about stuff like that. Like, we don't have anything in this country that old. Mm-mm. Like nothing. No, when I when we went to Eastern Europe last time, uh, four years ago or two, yeah, two years ago, the um, no, they had stuff in the 1300s, like cathedrals and stuff had been built in the 13s and 1200s, and we don't even have anything close to that either. And it, it's just that's the oldest thing. Astonishing that you know this beautiful architecture is hundreds and hundreds of years old, and that is pretty. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as far as entertainment wise, I've been watching a lot of the Goldbergs. It is a shit. I thought you were going to say been watching a lot of Golden Girls. I was like, hell yeah, let's get into it. Let's start another podcast. <laughs> let's start that Golden Girls podcast. I have watched some episodes. <laughs> we've we've turned it on from time to time. But uh, Goldberg's when amazing he's trying to show. Get, uh, lucky. <laughs> hey, yeah, in my old ass, I got to do something, right? Like, God damn. <laughs> but if you haven't watched Goldberg's, great show. It really it's, is. It's really funny. I, I will say, if you do watch it, go in with the expectation that it is sitcommy as it yes. gets out. But it just really grows laugh, on you. Does it have a laugh track? No, there's not a laugh oh, track. No okay. laugh track, but it's very sitcom formula. Okay. Every episode's a sitcom formula. But it has a lot of really well done heart with like, just, I mean, the 80s references are so well done. As a kid that grew up in the 80s, like, you I just. I love those self-made costumes, yeah, too. Yeah, all the <laughs> costume the- does, the toys you see, I'm just like, God, this kid's living the life I wish I had growing up, because mm-hmm. he has everything. Yeah. And then, it's. It's very formulaic sitcom, but the characters are all written well. Everybody's consistent. There's no real, yeah. Uh, I don't know, changes for change sake type things. Everything kind of goes in in a story, and they do it as a. One of the things I had to get over in the first season was it's a 1980 something, so there's no set time. So that way they can reference whatever they yeah. want to. So this episode, they he's like in middle school and watching like Back to the Future, mm-hmm. but another one he's in like. Eighth grade and watching, not eighth grade, uh, uh, freshman year, he's watching Transformers the movie, which is around the same time frame when they came out. Or but, going to like Star Wars. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Return of the Jedi and stuff like that. And yeah. it's, yeah. They get away a lot with that one. That way, it's mm-hmm. just, there's no timestamp. Yeah, no timestamp, and it's all just a blast. It's just uh, 80s. You just know it's going to be so much 80s. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much my summer. Uh, so there you go, guys. All right. Look forward to getting old. <laughs> I don't have uh, much of a better. So, like, mm. I would say board gaming was, like, probably the top of what the summer has been going on. Like, yep. Western Legends. Like, I love that we love board gaming now. Yeah. I love it so much. I've always loved it. I, I just love we have that. Yeah. I don't think we've not loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just have a proper <laughs> outlet that we can do it now. Yes. Uh, a couple of things that definitely were a little nerdier than I did. I finally bought my first Mezco. I got the oh, yeah, you put a beautiful up that, figure. You put up He's that video. Really, really cool. Like uh for the price point, I was I was really happy with it. Like you get it yeah. and it's just like it's the it's the G.I. Joe comparison of what you felt like a G.I. Joe was when you were a kid because they were so badass with all like the mm-hmm. attachments and like as a four year old, five year old, like this thing's the coolest, most detailed thing. Mm-hmm. And now you're an adult, you're like, Oh, that's just big 
piece of plastic. Oh my God, look at this Daredevil. <laughs> it's detailed and leveled out. So it's it's GI Joe's for kids because it's little six inch figures. But I was like the the flexibility comes with like cool flight stand so you can set them up how you want to. Um, I did a little one minute review. Cloth outfits too, right? Yeah, yeah. it's all yeah. cloth on there. So I've been looking at other ones. Um, I'm probably gonna order one. I found actually on. DH Gate, a couple of like uh, Mezco's for like forty bucks. So I'm gonna try one out. Nice. What was that one? Uh, they had the Frankenstein. Like, there's a really oh. cool black and white Frankenstein for instead of eighty or seventy dollars. He's forty, and, and the price cool. point is where I really dig them yep. because like you're you're not gonna break a hundred dollars unless you go with like a deluxe figure or like they have a King Kong. I think that runs like two hundred dollars. Was that the company that had the Moon Knight that was so cool? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Moon Knight, yeah. Moon Knight, but Jim Lee Cyclops. But it was, Cyclops, but it was over a hundred dollars. Was nope. it the Moon Knight? Was it eighty dollars? Yeah. Oh. They yeah. got a cable coming out too. The cable pretty good. Fuck. Looks bad. God, I can't do this. And then um, y'all shut y'all's dirty mouths. No, no. The uh, all the X Men have looked really cool. They have the brown and yellow look. Badass, so yeah, like Popeye is the one I think that at least popped him onto my radar because so many people bought him because he was like so well done. Oh yeah, and he he takes pictures so well, mm-hmm. and they actually have uh, a couple of new ones that be coming out on the Popeye line, which I think is so funny because I was like Popeye's not relevant. Hey Popeye, come yeah. take this felt selfie surprised with me. People still like <laughs> him. Will you take some photos of my family for me? Because he uh, takes pictures so well. Yeah. Okay. He photographs very well. There you go. Um, I've got very, very into Rocket League. I know it's something I've always been on and off again. But I like, about yeah. that. I, I, I might be going pro, guys, in the next 10 years. Yeah. No, it's something that just kind of became an obsession where like, I feel I have to play a game a day. And then that one game turns into like three or four games. You know, got to get in there. It's just so, so cool. So it's Overwatch for you again. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm very competitive. Yeah. I like to win. And... I usually do pretty well, and if I lose, I've taught my son all the cuss words he'd ever want to know. <laughs> uh, you know, so I, so he's ready to bash me. Poor little Marshall sitting beside you, just crying <laughs> because yeah. you're cussing so no. much. So Daddy, from, why are you making me sit here? <laughs> from my frustration, can I play Minecraft now? The other day, he was playing a game, and he's in the living room, and I was doing something in the kitchen. I hear him just go, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What'd you say?" He's like, "He's like nothing." I was like, "It's okay." What'd you say? He said, "I said fuck." And I was like, "Why'd you say?" He's like, "Cause I'm mad at this game." I was like, "As you were, son." Keep going. <laughs> yeah, I, you're I have a 13 year old son. I hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I understand because I I get it. I understand the frustration. There's no better word when you're in a, you're getting beat in a video game than just screaming fuck. Like <laughs> nothing else. Boulder Dash isn't gonna do it. You know, poppycock. It just it's not there. Fuck. It's just primal. <laughs> Um, besides that, uh, I've been really into RuPaul's Drag Race. I love drag queens, guys. I don't know what it is. There's something about the, uh, I, I would, it's like, it's cosplaying to a level and a lot of drag queens actually do cosplay now. So seeing just like the transformation, it just blows my mind. And I'm just like, I'm pretty addicted. I like the competition base of it and just seeing these, these very lady boys become full on fish like and i'm just like is that a, i'd fuck that dude like right now like he looks really good full on fish this fish is a as is a terminology a term? for like uh when uh guys in drag and you wouldn't know oh okay you would think that he's a uh a, a lady um i've never heard that before yeah i know all the gay terminology yeah, yeah. if you want to know i will take you down the road <laughs> So we should have a RuPaul's Drag Race night, guys. We'll hang out and we'll we'll drink some wine and like. We'll I love wine. I've got that new projector. I do. <laughs> I you know what it really is. I think it's like I just like RuPaul because this guy and or lady, however you want. I mean, he's a guy. He he called you know so he identifies as a guy. So I'm not saying anything wrong. Like out of nowhere, became a fucking supermodel in the '90s, and now he has his own show. And the show yeah. is for his own self amusement. Like. All the references, all the jokes, like the whole goal is always to make him laugh. And I'm like, <laughs> to have that much power, we're like, at the end yeah. of the day, like you just got to make RuPaul laugh and you're, you're gold. <laughs> and he has a pretty funny sense of humor. Like the dude loves Judge Judy. Like what a <laughs> weird obsession. Yeah. Like, I get it though. Yeah. Like, the show or her? The show. Oh, okay. And Judge Judy. Okay. I mean, like, he just has like this love. Yeah. Um, if probably, he, probably like um, Deadpool with B. Arthur. Yeah, B. Arthur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's just like it's it's a. I mean, I can understand that one too. Yeah. yeah. So I've been going through watching all the old seasons and just kind of enjoying it. What is that on for anybody? It's on Amazon if you want to purchase it. It's on Prime, so you can watch it for free. Okay. Um, I highly suggest just 
skipping the first couple of seasons because they were bad, like really, really low production. Mm. And I think that's the more interesting thing as I watch it because, you know, being aware of it is how culturally impactful they became now. Like these, you know, they come up and like when they're doing drag. Dude, they even have pops from that show now. That's what I'm saying. Like they, before they do the show, most of these guys are like working part-time jobs. They Mm -hmm. do drag at night. Once you're on that show, if you like do halfway decent you are now touring the world and you're making money off of doing drag. Like there's like some of these Queens that have like gotten shows. Now they like have their own spinoffs. It is weird how big it is. It's, it's crazy. Cause especially you go from the earlier seasons and you see how like, I guess it's more budget. And now that there's like an, a true budget that's on the show where they can like spend money. It's like high end. It's, it's pretty interesting to watch the show kind of grow that way. Mm-hmm. But that is uh been, Pretty much the makeup of what I've been doing the last couple months. Watching drag queens and playing Rocket League. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. <laughs> and, Sounds like a good summer, though. Yeah, yeah. It does. And, a, and do an audible, but that's boring. Um, no, it's not. No, it is. I downloaded is. that book, by the way. I'm going to start. Yeah. Uh, Way of oh, Kings. Good. Let's have a secret yeah. conversation on the podcast. <laughs> Way of Kings. I won't go into it, but if you if you like fantasy, yeah, it's been really good. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about Stranger Things season Ooh. three. All right, welcome back from that break. Whew, my arms are tired. <laughs> it's been such a long time. So, guys, Stranger Things 3 came out Scoops this year. Ahoy. Yep. yep. Bitch. Um, you know, we'll try our best not to do a whole lot of spoilers at the beginning, but I'm just going to say we're probably going to ruin yeah, that. So. Yeah, we're going we're, we're, we're gonna to discuss it, so and, we're going to spoil And I would think most shit. people have already watched it. I mean, it's on Netflix. If you, if you haven't watched it, it's you've just been too busy. You probably have seen plentiful memes it's and been all out for over a month yeah i don't know if uh, do you do you do you feel like stranger things is one of those that like you can really like there's certain things that you can spoil that's like the end 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 like last but, episode last 15 minutes yeah but i don't there's not think a whole lot the rest it. of it like you can spoil it there's things you can say that's like oh well i knew that was coming but i don't think it should take the joy out of yeah. still seeing it no, like like the uh, the never ending story scene, like a lot oh, of people love that. I so love never ending story. Yeah. I didn't love that part, but what? a lot of people do. <laughs> like I don't think us talking about that's going to kill anyone's yeah. joy. So I'll go ahead and kind of kick it off. Like so, uh, I think we're at different ends. I know you guys didn't dislike the movie or, or the season, but no, I, I really liked. It. I really enjoyed season two or season three. I like season three a whole lot more than season two. I felt that you got a lot more out of the cast, like especially from the new characters that were added in season two. I did too. They Max really got Billy, yeah. they got rounded out, and then also you had Uma Thurman's daughter, uh, Maya Hawk, who played against Steve. She was, she was a, great. She a was a very great addition. Great addition to it. Like she added a lot to it because you kind of think of like how that show was structured from the first season. You had the boys, you know, doing their mission. You had mm-hmm. uh, you had Steve. Kind of going with Nancy and I uh, forget his name. Nancy's boyfriend now, photographer. Yeah, uh, what? Is, why can't I think? But it's what's his name's brother. Yeah. I can't remember his name at all. But anyway, like uh, anyway. you know, they they kind of were sectioned off, and in season two, you kind of got pretty much the same. In season three, they really changed up on like the dynamics of who is uh, you yeah. know, paired together, which is one so of the things split it off into three groups. Yeah, but different groups. Yeah, like but the, the guy, groups have changed because because uh, what's his name didn't even meet up with the rest of his buddies till like the Dustin. End. Yeah, yeah, Dustin. And you, well, you have him at the when he first gets back from camp is the only time yeah, for like five. Yeah, minutes. they go up the hill and then like nine and Will go off to make out. Eleven. 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 Yeah, sorry. Eleven and, and Will go out to make out, and then you have Dustin wanting to go up there, and like that's the last time they're together as a group till the end of the series or the season. Yeah, Hopper. <coughs> Hopper. And Hopper Joyce. was such a. Well, I, I was just going to jump into the, something. Were, were you oh, yeah, done yeah. with that? Well, I was just kind of saying, well, then you had Hopper yeah, and, and, uh, and Joyce. And Joyce, you know, they're going on their mission. And it was just such a weird mix of how they, they did that. And I really enjoyed it because they also gave Hopper a little bit more fleshing out. Like, you know, now he a has 11 more, yeah. as a daughter. Now he's ha- he's finally showing an interest in the <sighs> Joyce, wanting to, you know, be uh, romantically involved in her Still dealing with like her loss of Bob. Yeah. So really, just 
cool dynamics and a lot of fun of where they took the show, you know, as a whole. I absolutely. really enjoyed that. Absolutely. And then Hopper's you- attire through this <laughs> was so fucking spot on. Yes. It was so good because he's uh, he's fat <clears throat> in this in this season, and he's a, he's basically being a fat Magnum PI. Um, he's wearing mm-hmm. these like Hawaiian shirts and stuff that like that. Shirt. Mustache. Yeah. That mustache. That was one shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt, shirt the dude, whole like, thing. The rest of the series. Man, I loved it. And he was so fucking mean and angry. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know who I like? So you, you kind of, so, so as the season starts out, uh, Will and Eleven are now officially dating. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're making out all the time. And they're making out at Eleven's house with Hopper being in the other room. Because she, she's not allowed to go out yeah. and go leave. And I, I felt that Will was just such a, he played the perfect shitty teenager. Yeah, he was a shitty teenager in season two as well, though. But I, I mean, I felt he was even worse in this season. No, absolutely, he, he was. was like disrespectful to Hopper, yeah, like he was to sneaky. his face. He was, he was shady. Know, shady, he was shady, shady friends. He, he definitely like kind of took a character turn because you have the first season where he's like so so likable. He's like the leader. Yeah, you know, he's like very moral. And now he's just like puberty just, took over, and he's like, "I just want the chick. I just want to bang eleven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I, and I'm definitely to the point in my life where I'm like Hopper, and I'm like." Fuck you, you yeah. asshole. If I'm, ever, I'm going to give it to you now. If I ever become a dad, Hopper, how he acted as a dad was amazing. Uh, he, he played the true, like, overly protective father that's yes. worried about yeah. his daughter. Door three inches. <laughs> yeah. And then when he's trying to do his speech, and he's just laying in bed, the cigarette in his mouth, he's like, oh, how am I going to do this? I'm okay, so I'm, I'm dead. And just him, like, that was honestly going- so sweet because he was, like, going to do it. Yeah, yeah, and then he flipped the <laughs> he just, shit yeah. out on Mike. <laughs> he was just being such a little shit that Hopper's like, "Nope." <laughs> yeah. But so, like, he he threatens Will essentially, and he just comes back so satisfied with himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, "I did the damn thing." Yeah. So let's talk about one of my new favorite characters that was introduced in the season. It's the Mike. Mall. He threatens <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Mike. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Will. Yeah, Will. Will just want to play D and D. Got it. Yeah, Will. Will's Since season one, hasn't had anything been that shit he can do. On yeah, he, he doesn't do anything. Yeah, um, but I really love the addition of the mall. Star yeah, that mall was so good. It just super eighties, buddy. No, it was. It, that was like what the, you know, like the the eighties were. It's like, all right, let's go to everything's at the mall. Let's go to the mall. It's yeah. magical in the eighties. Yeah. You know, you go to the movies there. You get your haircut. You go shopping. Like the mall was like the heartbeat of of, that, of a city yeah, or a yeah. town. And I I like that they had this like little corruption thing going on because the mayor is allowing the mall to like come in and it's yeah. like putting people out of jobs downtown. Mm-hmm. Uh, which by the way, the mayor uh, Carrie Elwes, yeah, from uh, Princess Bride fame. I didn't even know that was him at first. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah, 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 he looks so much different, but he he plays such a good sleaze ball. But I just like the fact that she had the mall, and then they just went so stupid, but in a good way, that the Russians have built a secret lair that goes down underneath and had a a, a, a lair like where well, they were it, doing. It's so like '80s action film yes. almost. Like the Russians have built a motherfucking secret bunker, yes. <laughs> and, and no one noticed them bringing no, all these soldiers no. in and all this equipment and scientists, and they're all living underground. And, yeah. Under the mall. <laughs> okay, well, they didn't notice in this tiny town the influx of Russians. There. Well, like when they were building the mall and they were digging, you know, seven stories low. Yeah. They probably had those high fences up. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. No one was like, mm, that's a little weird. Well, you know, it's the mall. That's the sewage. They probably need a deep foundation. Yeah. I was just like, this is so stupid but i loved it and yes, then you have absolutely you have the knockoff terminator that is also the russian yes, badass yeah like going around trying to like hunt hopper oh and yeah he, was he just, looked like he absolutely they got the absolute person that was perfect to play such a low rent um towards schwarzenegger yeah <laughs> it was just like the russian schwarzenegger joe it's like just, a stereotypical it's shitty just, action villain yeah in just the right light or wrong light he looked, At just the wrong angle, it was like, oh, is that? Nope. Yeah. And he <laughs> nope. had like the spiky hair yeah. and the glasses. It was, and I was like, that's so dumb, but I'll take it. Yeah. And then, you know, so we have, uh, you know, I guess from the upside down, you got to talk about that. How did so. the Russians get there? Th- they had their 
place in Russia where mm-hmm. they were doing their tests, and I guess they saw the vibrations. I don't know. I, they, I, I, don't I don't think, think they did that was full, explained. They didn't do a full ex- explanation. They, you know that they were trying something back In home, Russia. Yep. Yeah. And they must have somehow were able to pinpoint, because remember also the magnetic spears. They talked about that some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe that's how they pinpointed uh, well, they, they, Hawkins. For, they may have just known about it. I don't know. They, but they, they said they could tell the veil between was, yeah. was thinner there. So that's why they moved there. Or and so they were able to open it. It had been opened in Hawkins before, yeah. so it hadn't been yeah. sealed properly. Now, um, what was the name of the main creature from Upside Down? The Mind... The Mind, mind flare. flare. The Mind Player. Flare. Flare? Flare. flare. Oh, okay. Mind Flare. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in the end of Season 2, when they were closing the uh, door, the arm got cut off, and obviously you're like, okay, that's going to be something. Well, it went and laid dormant at... Uh, it looked like a pier, I guess, or essentially as an old warehouse, and... Mm-hmm. Just happenstance, the new character was it, you know his name. Billy. Billy, Billy. happened to wreck going by, like just yeah. main player. To, and he goes down there and he gets possessed by the mind flare. And no, it people hit, love. Something came out and hit his car. He yeah. didn't wreck. He he did. like, oh, true, yeah. something smashed into his car. People uh, love, love Billy. And there's a lot of. Um, oh, God, yeah. There's a lot of speculation out there that he might play someone in MCU and stuff like that. He might be the. Uh, the new Adam Warlock or something like that. I I think he's a good actor. He's, I hate that character though. He is such a dick. Which is a good that, that's, well, that's, that's a good actor. Yeah, that's to a be. good actor. You like because uh, he did such a good job. But a, a lot of job. people like the character, and I'm like, how do you like this guy? He is such a dickhead. He kept. Uh, <laughs> he's a stereo. He's like that '80s heartthrob, just the bad boy. And uh, women like do women like the bad boy? He's he's a little more. He he was a little. He's not like he doesn't. He didn't have any like positive. He kept mm. look, looking to me like like a a, a weird Zach Efron. Yes. Oh, okay. He just had. I that. mean, the dude's a dreamboat. If you see him outside of Stranger Things, yeah, he's a good looking dude. Yeah. But uh, that's that's what I'm saying. In the character, like you usually have that like <clears throat> you have that shitty character that's like the dreamboat, Zach Morris or someone like that. You know, someone that is a piece of shit but has like qualities that people like about him this guy does not have those he's qualities the only they so they tried to build i think likability and this is kind of going off the, the lot the, you know the story but like with uh when 11 was going to his memories and seeing oh, yeah. like the mom he no, had absolutely. a reason they why he was to. like that. they were trying to build him as like well but uh so anyway when he wrecks i did like the whole idea of like invasion of the body snatchers the nine foot uh the mind flare like taking over him and then send Billy out to bring more people and yeah. he's slowly taking over. All of that stuff was so good. So I will say, as far as like horror goes, like you know, from the this one to me had the creepiest factors as the people started melting. Oh yeah, yeah. and like the becoming just a giant blob, blob, uh, beast of body parts of rats and humans. Yes. It, it very much reminded me of the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, Good call. And, and I man, I was loving that especially. Well, and I, and I, I, I think the way they do stuff, they pull from you know they're they're pulling from so Huge many references. different things. All so so that's probably what they were referencing. No. When I saw it, I was like, kind of reminds me of the thing. I one hundred percent think that's what they were pulling from, especially the hospital scene. Yeah, where it was uh, kind of going through. It was it was a mixture of like invasions of body snatchers and then going to like yeah. you know thing horror. But like I was like. Seriously freaked out. I was like, "This is disgusting." Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, "They really have pushed it to the limits of, uh, of just I guess the gore that you're gonna get out of a horror. Like that was like next level horror uh, gore. At least I wouldn't yeah. say it was the scariest thing, but it definitely was good thrill. I was like very thrilled by it. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I would only say that um, it could maybe be. I think season one was a little creepier but just because you didn't know what you were getting yet yes i'll um, say that if 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 you watched all three of them like back to back to back uh if you didn't watch season one two or three and then now you're jumping into it i think three is definitely like more creepy but you already know about the 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 upside down and all the weird now, season stuff there. one built so well on suspense yeah and the unknown of what you were dealing with yeah and the demogorgon like you know like you you were seriously you know fearful whenever they were out in the woods because you didn't know the rules i guess of like yep. what brought yes. it the things so no season one is to me near perfection when it comes to a show like if they would have never done another season stranger things would be like the gold standard of like a mini series and that's that's exactly what you know that's why i have to eventually get a tattoo it's because i was like this should stay i think this is going to stay and they they should just end it 
Yeah. I'm glad they didn't. No, it was. But if they had, it had just been a miniseries, well, that would have been perfect. The stipulation was you thought it was going to be an anthology where it was yes, going to be Stranger yeah. Things, but it was going to be a completely different story. Yeah. Yeah. And Nathan has said it's going to still stay in Hawkins and revolve yeah. around that. Yeah. yeah. It, it, and yeah. I think that was because that's what I wanted. I, did, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't want I any more that. explanation. Because I am, this is, I think, what you're talking about from, from the whole overall. Um, I am done with the way they're doing things. I think they've put together a good story for the um, the upside down, for Will, for Eleven. Um, I need a bigger change of what are they fighting, what's going on, uh, yeah. what's what's this season about. Well, how do you it, raise the stakes from what they've done now? <clears throat> exactly. So I, I need them to be, I need it to be quite a change. Yeah. yeah. Well, because um, you, you got to think, the Mind Flare is this, I mean, giant overarching figure in the upside down that's yeah. now on this side trying it wants to open the door it's trying to take over like how do you get bigger than that that's yeah. a pretty big villain to fight and i will say like they upped it so i mean it was this monstrous thing by the end of the season they were fighting that yeah you know it was it took all of them not yeah. just 11 yeah you know like uh so how do you take it bigger from there yeah which I will say, like, and I don't think you, I don't think they should take it bigger, because like then it's just like, oh, by the way, also in the upside down, there was something bigger than that. Yeah. I think they need to take it different. Yeah. So, um, but I will have to say, with everything that was done with the season, I, like I said, I really felt that they allowed the characters to kind of grow some more, especially with like Steve oh, yes. and Dustin. Yeah. Um, because everyone after season two loved Steve, and now we still love Steve. Yeah. yeah, Steve is just a great character. He's a good mama bear. Yeah, oh yeah, just taking care of them little and boys. I, and and I loved him new, with, huh? the, with the new girl. Yep their their relationship. I I, I loved that. I, I even enjoy. I love because they. You felt, of course, that they were going to have like this love connection, and then it's like, oh, she swings for the same team, buddy. Yeah, and it was just such the letdown for Steve. You're like, oh, oh you poor guy. But, but he took it so well. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Yeah, it's like, okay, cool. We're gonna be BFFs now. Yeah, yeah I friends. loved that. I loved that. That was real. That was really sweet. That was really good. Um, Eleven. I like that they, because Eleven's like almost overpowered in the world. Yes. Mm-hmm. So like having her at the end kind of lose what made her special, and then them having to kind of rely on themselves to fight. Yeah, that was a nice change up because up till then it's always like, all right, Eleven shows up and just blows it away. Yeah, yeah. but know. that was another one of the good things that like. Halfway through the season, I'm like, ah, mm, I wish they had changed this some, and then they did. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so Eleven's not just gonna powerhouse through this. Okay, awesome. I just hope that the next season's not a whole lot about her just trying to regain her powers, and you know that. Yeah, that feels like then you're just kind of spinning the wheels and not pushing the, the story forward. Yeah, it's, which is an interesting conundrum for people like writers and everything. They've created this huge, great thing. How do you keep it going? Well, I'm worried just because season two had that just horrible episode where Eleven goes off and finds her sister and like kind of like yeah. opens up the door a little bit of this other world of other people with superpowers. Mm-hmm. And then also... Oh, I forgot. That was in season two, Yeah, right? season two. Yeah. And I forgot even, about that. And then has them going around murdering people like to yeah. get back. And they ignored it this season, so I'm thinking maybe they're just like, all right, that was a mulligan. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. Or season three, they go back to that. Season yes, yeah, our season four, they go back there and figure uh, like bring add more, more powers and yeah. stuff to it. <clears throat> I, I think hope not. Restrict her powers in season four because like it's if she moves did, like the Millennium Falcon in like the first that season, okay, that was easy. But if you notice, just going back, every time she's using her powers in season three, she's constantly bleeding. Yeah. yeah, like it's draining her, like her, like her life force or essence. So maybe season four is, hey, I want to help, but it's going to kill me. My guess is that, and this is just going off. That, I guess that's such a like overused trope. I feel like in things like, oh, I am super powerful, but the more I use my power, the closer I come to yeah. death. I, th- I I think that's too overused. I think what's going to happen is uh, from the mind flare, how it bites her, and she got that thing inside of her. She's gonna start getting taken over next season. She's gonna and she be becomes the, bad the guy. villain. Ooh, I think that's what's like gonna that. happen. I like that because you know how people you, are gonna hate that. Oh yeah, but I like that. Because how do you fight against? Because like then the powers come back and now you have this 
mega weapon, you yeah. know, and of course it'll be like, Eleven, we know you're in there. We yeah. love you and so, <laughs> type thing. Through the power of love yeah, and the friendship. <sighs> friendship and love. Heart <laughs> will save her at the end. Um Care Bear Stare. Fuck that. But that's obviously just one percent what I think is gonna happen. I'm probably wrong. Mm. But that's a good theory, though. I like it. I'm into it. Well, because they always do something at the very end of the season to kind of hint what's going to happen next season. I don't remember what it was at the end of the theory. Or, or they moved. Me. Oh, everyone moved. They well, or well, not that, everyone. Well, like the bad guy, like uh, from you know season one, whenever they had that, you know, it's it's shot out, and you're yeah. like, oh, that's the mind flare, you know, like, and so of course it went and like laid dormant uh, because it when it ex- oh, when, when oh. they they did the exorcism and and will. Yeah puked it out and then that brought oh, in season, season two, two. Yeah. and now season two at the end had uh what or where she left out and cut off the arm and then that you know went out okay. so obviously that you know so they always have something that kind of builds Was there off something of in season three other than the that's my guess okay is from there or whatever they pulled out you know they always do something that leaves the upside down to be allowed inside this gotcha. world Gotcha. And also, at the, you know, they have that in credit it's, with the Russians, where apparently they they have a demi gorgon on. Yeah. You know, over that's there. what it was. That's the one I was trying to remember. Which I'm at this point, I'm like, well, I mean, unless they're like weaponizing it, and they start like, you know, do, making uh, copies of it, and they have an army of demi gorgons yeah. running around. Fuck that. You know, uh, hey, but you gotta think they go 80s. So how crazy 80s are they yeah, gonna yeah. take it? Well, and it seems like uh, they they'd been doing a lot of 80 horror movies. This one moved on to a little bit more 80s action movies. Yeah. Um. So I mean, they could. I mean, they could have a complete other set of films that they want to dive into. Yeah, dive into with this. That, w- that would be interesting. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, they give you the perception. That Hopper died. Obviously, he's yeah. not dead. There's just no like There's he's already, no body. Well, yeah, no body, no death. Yeah, because it turned to ash. Well, but they. I, I mean, and said. they even the Russians go, "Oh, the American, no, leave the American." Um, you know, come on, like yeah. it is so. They, and that's what makes me mad. Is they left. If he's truly dead, you know, I'll eat these words because they gave so much time of mourning him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't won't be a, as big of a deal for you. Are you willing to put a tattoo on it? Double or nothing? <laughs> no, yeah. Not double or nothing. Not double or nothing. <laughs> I'm going to get my tattoo. I uh, No, I, I would. I would put a tattoo. I'll get a Stranger Things. I'll get a mustache of Hopper from season <laughs> from, uh, from season outline, three. Of the mustache of with like a little print underneath of that shirt. Uh, okay. That, that uh, Hopper is 100% alive in season four. I love it. I love it. I, I agree put, with you, honestly. Flashbacks but. don't count. No, flashback. No, he he is alive in and the well, current yeah. timeline. Well, not well, but yeah, he yeah. is alive. He's alive. He's not dead. How? I just don't see how. He's a, he got blasted to the upside down. I, they bring him back. I mean, there's so many things they can th- do. There oh, could God. have been DNA, and they cloned him. That with, doesn't count. Yeah, that does count. That does. His that character counts. will be alive, and yeah. that's all that matters. If he's cloned, he's still Hopper. Yeah. He'll have the memories of the girl I remember living, uh, my daughter. He doesn't talk like that at all. I don't know why I did a terrible impersonation. That was, that was a pretty good Hopper. It sounded spot on to me. Oh, thank you guys. You're welcome. Um, but overall, like I said, I thought season three was a really the best move in the right direction from season two because season two left me a little worried. Yeah. Um, I think they kind of they saw where they made some missteps and they corrected for it and they really went out and, like I said, brought in new characters that were really enjoyable. Um, I'm really excited to see where they're going to take it. I'm yeah. really excited to see how they, because season four might be the last season. I think yeah. there, there's, I think four is going to be like, they're, dude, they're growing so fast. Oh, if, if four is going to be the last season, then they'll, it'll still be like kind of the same thing that, yeah. that, that it is. Have they said that? Has that been announced? I, th- I, I know they definitely plan on finishing four. this season. So it might be four. It might be five. It okay. Yeah. If, if, if this is a thing that they have already, it's a finite series. Okay. They're not going to keep pushing. Then, then I'm fine with them. Keep doing what they're doing yeah. uh, i don't want 12 seasons of oh yeah. no the upside down has come back yeah again yeah I, I really like it when you have a set story for a series and just okay and too. It, not everything has to keep going forever and ever yes. yeah. make sure yeah you don't want to just keep going back to the same well because it's doing well i understand it but eventually people turn on it and mm-hmm. it's better to like go out on top because you'll probably do a lot better, even financially, on selling stuff because the show's yeah. still loved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's that's one thing um, we talk about a lot. Uh, the Good Place, they have a finite number of seasons they're doing. I think this last se- this, this next is season, season is the last season yeah. because yeah. they already knew what they wanted to tell, and it has 
It has been really? excellent. There have been some of the best twists in that show that I've seen in any. Especially in, on a, an example of a show that they wanted to do that with and didn't was Lost. Because Lost yeah, was intended yeah. to be a limited series. And then it series. went eight, ten seasons, something yeah. ridiculous like that. And yeah. it's, it's, it's one of the most disappointing shows I've ever watched in my life. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I think we uh, talked enough about Stranger Things, so we're going to move on over to Spider-Man. Oh, are we recording? Yeah, we've been recording. Okay. I was going to just keep awesome. singing it. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. So we're back. Ray, good, thank you for the good editing there. <laughs> yes. You guys would never know the songs we sang. So, Seamless. Yeah. Spider-Man came out this year, and we were pretty much in love with it, except for Chuck, who decided to pass on it. I was going to see it Friday, and it wasn't there anymore. It wasn't there anymore. So No, it only I was gonna see hung it out there Friday, for months. Three months later. Yeah. It didn't come out. Yeah, it did been out for a while so we got to catch back up with peter parker as he decided to take a step in tj's world and glow trot uh globe trot (laughs) yeah over to glow trot did he go to venice went to prague prague venice then prague then um london yeah he really was far from home it's not just a clever name (laughs) no um so you get to catch up uh obviously they're you know catching in from the end of infinity war and all the stuff that's happened now um, he's dealing with Iron Man passing away. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's sad, and they have Everyone's changed. Everyone's sad. Yeah, mm-hmm. they changed the snap to the blip. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I did too. The intro of this movie, um, where they're where, oh gosh, again, if y'all haven't seen this, this, this is gonna be spoilers because we're yeah. just gonna gush over this thing, and I, I don't care uh, if you haven't seen it. Fuck you. Chuck. I, I, um, the I, beginning of this is so good <laughs> because after the like Marvel intro thing and uh, like a little like cold intro sort of, <laughs> all of a sudden they start talking about all the um, all the heroes. And what's they, that sappy ass song they were playing though? Oh God, it, it, it's not it's it's not like Wind Beneath My Wings, but it's on that level. Yeah, because I will remember you. I think I so. No, I don't God. know. It, it was it amazing, was, though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and then, like these title screens start coming up, and they're all in comics, uh, uh, cosmic sand, uh, comic sans, comic sans. Comic sans. Yeah, and Allison is sitting beside me, and she's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> If you know Allison, you know that's exactly what happened. Oh yeah, as not as loud as she could say it, but very audibly in the theater. Uh, and I'm like, at that point, I have figured out sort of what's going on, but she hasn't yet. Yeah. And it, oh, as God, soon as the it Comic Sans came up, I knew what yeah. was going on at that point. Before then, I thought, oh, this is cheesy as fuck. <laughs> Good old high school. <laughs> no, I it, when that song came on, I'm like. I thought it was a this Peter. Kind of, I thought Peter had done that's something. That's what I thought. I thought Peter was making yeah. a video until the for, Comic Sans came up. Or, then or I knew who Ned, was doing Ned it. Ned was doing it or something yeah. like that. It ends up being a tribute uh, from the high school people explaining how the BIP worked, um, why certain people were back. All the stuff that people complained about after in game, yeah. they yeah. explained away in this high school presentation. I like that <laughs> they're playing it, and you're like. Obviously, everybody knows this has been a couple of months, and is that, yeah, why are they now yeah. playing this video? <laughs> like, it's, it's just, just like a high school thing, though. Yeah. yeah. And then the um, like the marching band is in the gymnasium, yes. and they and they, they have out. footage yes. of them blipping out. <laughs> yeah. And then they come back in the middle of a basketball game <laughs> and, and get just, run into. Yeah. Man, which I have to say, I thought it was really funny that they used the terminology blip because I was watching uh, "Are You Afraid of Dark Today" with Marshall, mm-hmm. and they used the word blip for someone just disappearing and going away. Oh wow, oh, nice! Yeah, I was like, I see where they got the inspiration <laughs> from. Probably, Are you afraid of dark? Probably. Nickelodeon needs a sue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Disney will just buy them. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Would you like to sue yet? us, or will we buy you? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that. Oh God, that was. So 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 good and uh all of this uh peter is um of course um aunt may knows that he's spider-man and he's getting prepared to go on his uh his school trip that he's really been looking forward to 
Because this is going to be when he tries to finally let Mary Jane know how he feels. Yeah, yeah he's like been overwhelmed with the loss of uh, you know Tony Stark, and yeah. so he's not even planning on being Spider Man. He wants to take a break from it and just allow himself to go, kind of be a kid now. Just be a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know he doesn't want to deal with this. He just wants to go. He wa- he wants to tell MJ that he loves her, and he wants to go enjoy this trip. And Nick Fury decides to just screw it all up and tell him, "Hey." You are now the one that's going to be leading the Avengers. Like Tony Stark believed in you. Here's yeah. some badass glasses that control everything. Yeah, I, I love a military satellite. Yeah, I yeah. love you. Don't go Nick Fury. Yeah, <laughs> no. just, yeah. Is that, are you yeah. ghosting Furies? I don't want to talk. You don't ghost Fury because then I have to talk to him. And then Happy the, is so yeah. good in this. Yeah, yeah I, Happy's I, great. I, Happy's always good. It's always good to have um, John Favreau in in any film, but he's really good as Happy. Yeah, and his relationship with Peter has always been really good. Yeah, and it's it's just great in this one. Yeah, because now he's banging his his aunt. You know, yeah. that's always yeah. nice, like little additions. Let me play. You get the suit. I'll get the music. <laughs> who who else read? Uh, when they were reading Tony's note, who else heard it in like his uh, voice? Robert Downey's voice. I don't remember. The note, remember. The note with the glasses. Did they not read it? Did they just show it on the he screen? Kind of, he kind of read it. But I could, it? Oh, I yeah, could, yeah. He was hearing. I, yeah. When I read it, RDJ. I read it in like oh, RDJ's yeah. voice. It was oh, yeah. so perfect. <laughs> and what was the name of the system that he designed for it? Edith. Edith. Even, even in death. death. Even dead, I'm the hero. Yeah. Yes. Which is just so beautiful. <laughs> like, so Tony Stark. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was called Edith, but I didn't know it stood for something. That's oh, yeah. fucking yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Tony Stark. Uh, man, the, the the Tony Stark in the comics was a good, rich character, but this is the RDJ was able to make it his own thing. Yeah. And incredibly, incredibly rich character. Yeah. With stuff like little things like that, even in death. Um. That, that uh, it's yeah. so good. He's he's still a character in this movie, and he's dead. <laughs> I know. So kind of to set up the world that's happening. So while Peter is deciding that he doesn't want to take the mantle, at least not at this time, they have been having these disturbances all over the world of these giant elemental monsters. Yeah. And you know Nick Fury has kind of noticed it, and apparently Mysterio has showed up and decided to uh, team up with. At, at that time, no, he he hadn't met Nick Fury. I apologize. It wasn't until that they went over and they were across the pond. Yeah, it was yeah. after Venice. Yes, but they kind of, you know, Nick Fury knew that these things were happening, so he gets, uh, you know, Peter Parker comes, he meets Nick Fury, he meets, yeah, Mysterio is there, I apologize, yeah. and he kind of explains that, hey, you know, I'm from this different dimension. Uh, what was the dimension he's from? Uh, 616 is what 616. he said. No, he, which He said he was from the 616, which in the he trailer. He said this one was 616. He said Peter's oh, was 616. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't remember if he said specifically what he was from. Yeah, I don't think he said okay. which one he was from, but he said that this is, yours is 616. Yeah. And he tells this uh, just terrible backstory that in his world, these creatures were attacking, and they get stronger and stronger, and he wasn't able to stop them. Hence, destroying his world, and he's came here to help us. To try to stop the destruction of our world. Yes. And, you know, Peter's like, ah, what am I supposed to do? Like, yeah. you got this guy, he's badass. This guy is, like, the best superhero. Why are you even, you don't need Spider-Man. You got this guy. Well, he, and at first he's like, hey, what about Thor? Off-world. Yeah. You, yeah. Know? you know, he goes through this other list of people. He's like, I enjoy that because that's what everybody wants to always ask, like, when they're yes. you know, watching there. It's like, where was all the other fucking Avengers? Yeah. yeah. Like, the end of the world's about to happen. Call some people. Yeah. We, yeah. We wow. can't. Well, I, I mean, you can't Use get the Thor. fucking phone, dude. Yeah. yeah, you can't get Thor. You can't get Captain Marvel. That's fine. Yeah. What about the fucking Scarlet Witch? Bucky didn't do anything. Yeah. Where the fuck is that goddamn raccoon? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. somebody <laughs> somewhere, right? There's a plethora of heroes. Leave me out of it. You didn't just leave the whole planet yeah. to a fucking sixteen year old kid, <laughs> yeah. did you? Yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> Mysterio's from Earth eight three three in the multiverse. Okay, that's what he claimed. Just going back to that real quick. So. Thank you, Chuck Wikipedia. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit, y'all Chuck brought Wikipedia. it up, so I was just letting you know. Yeah. <laughs> so as they, you know, they finally fly over there. Aunt May, being a sweet lady, puts his uh, spider suit in there. She thought he was going to forget it. And you know, so things are going, and there's an attack. Uh, is it Hydra Man? Hydra, like the, the yeah. giant water mm-hmm. creature, attacks and and it's just destroying everything, messing it all up. 
Um, Venice, while they're in Venice. Yeah, Venice. Mm-hmm. And so you get to see Mysterio come in. I had to say right off from when it comes to character designs, Mysterio just looks so badass. And there's Mysterio was amazing it's looking. Hilarious the elementals too. were great too. Yeah, they looked really yeah. good. It's hilarious too because people have talked about for years how stupid Mysterio looks, and he would be so horrible on film, blah, blah, blah. He looks badass. Yeah. I, I've always, I know he's a, people call him fishbowl head and dome head and all that kind of stuff. I've always thought it was a good design. Me though. too. I've always it's, loved It's design. always been a cool, because it's a different design. It's yeah, yeah, especially different. with the the cloudy ball. It's yeah. not, oh, yeah. you can't see into it. Which was yeah. kind of cool how they, they added this almost like whirlwind of effects inside yes. of the, the, the dome yeah. when he's wearing it. That's mm-hmm. what I've always imagined it looked like yeah but having him come through and he's fight and he kind of reminded me somewhat of dr strange look the like the way he would shoot his yeah powers as he's going on yeah. and he fight fights the elementals uh or the elemental you got peter parker trying to help him he's like you know trying to keep things together as they're getting crashed over they never try to like ask him what his powers are or anything like that do they they never have a discussion about that yeah. they never come know back that. yeah which Looking back now, and I don't know if this is like poking holes into the theory, so kind of jumping ahead, you find out that obviously Mysterio is a bad guy. But I really like the a great way, reveal. The way they went with it was in such a bet because you know from the trailer, I was one hundred expecting one hundred percent expecting him to be truly be from the other dimension or something. But he's actually a bad guy. You know, he's yeah. came to take over. Or, but what it is is he used to work for Tony Stark. Of course, mm-hmm. Tony Stark still in death, causing Peter shit. He yeah. was, the last villain that Peter had to deal with in his own film was because of Tony uh, Stark. Stark. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. So he was the one that designed the hologram program. From was that the first? Uh, yeah, it was in Civil War. Age of Ultron. Oh, that was Civil, Civil War. War. Yeah, that he was able to you know do his little therapy ses- uh, session, talking to his mom and dad. He was the the mastermind behind that, the holographics for other people to see it. And he was mad that Tony literally took that amazing technology and just used it for therapy, as he put it. And he apparently and named it puke. <laughs> yeah. Barf. 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 Yeah. But and, and, again, that's from his perspective, though, yes. too. So, well, and, and I'm sure there's, there's more to it. Well, than that. and as it as it unveils, apparently he ru- he works with a team that's of disgruntled ex there, there Tony Stark a, employees. There was a beautiful scene in it where, like we talked about before, um, Spider Man. Um, has Peter's been given this Edith that controls this satellite, this this war satellite These almost drones. drones and everything. Um, it's another like Friday or Jarvis mm-hmm. um, that that he's working with that the Edith is, and uh, he doesn't want it. He's he feels like it's too much pressure, and there's this beautiful bar scene, and this was the this was where you get the reveal, and um, they're connecting. They're connecting, and uh, you know. He's he's being real. He's being pretty sweet to 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 Peter. He's kind of. He, he, I get the sense, and I think I think it goes into it a little bit later that like he actually likes Peter. Yeah, he, he he's cool with Peter. Um, but then Peter fucks up and gets in his way. So he's like, eh, I don't like you that much. Yeah. But um, they have a good heart to heart moment, and uh, Peter uh gives him Edith. He's like, you're the real hero, not me. I'm a 16 year old kid. Here, you do this. Um, and. Stuff's, uh, you know, Peter leaves to go on his trip because he's like, you know, that's what I really want to do. I want to be a kid. I want to I want to experience this stuff. I want to talk to MJ, all this. And uh, after he leaves, like, the bar's still there, and then it, but it, like, it looks shittier than it was. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, th- it, of course, this was all just, it was just, uh, you know, Mysterio. 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 Yeah. But then there's, like, still people there, but some of them disappear. And I'm like, and that's when you find out Mysterio isn't just Jake Gyllenhaal. Mysterio is this whole team of people that yep. Tony Stark has fucked over. Yeah, over the years. <laughs> yeah. And they have those like that great because he stands up and you know, he's like, great job, everybody. You guys really played it up. And he's like, he keeps calling people out and it gives like quick cutaways, like uh, like yeah. almost family guy style showing like, like how they work for Tony. Yep, yeah. Peter Billingsley's character from Iron Man 1. Yes. Yeah. His backup and... So- <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, so uh, and and it's, yeah. that, and it's, it's just a whole series. Of it's them. the fact that Mysterio actually doesn't have superpowers. It's all just technology based. Yeah. Which yeah. I was like, it's that's brilliant. It's really really cool because like I was 
expect them to go full magic and stuff like that. But yeah. no, they're going to go the tech route with it. Mm-hmm. And it was all a long con to get Peter to build trust and get the Eda system. That's because what he once wanted. once he has the Eda system, he can... Um, shake down the government yeah. for, for his, tons of money. Yeah, he essentially wants to be a superhero, but he wants to be a superhero that gets paid. And mm-hmm. what he's going to do, he's going to create all... He's been creating all these elementals. Which is why I was going to ask when I was talking about uh, plot holes is like as Peter was fighting stuff, but I guess that's just the mental when he's like trying to hold up the damage and stuff like that. How did they maintain the destruction after everything was done when they took the holograms away? Well, the the damage was caused by other drones that were cloaked. Yeah, that's right. They're shooting stuff and blowing yeah. it up. That's what it was. Thank you. That, uh, You're welcome. Um, so. So they get the drone system because they had, I guess, they had a few drones, but now they have this militia of drones that yeah. can come in and they hardwire it to make these giant presentations that look like these huge, terrible things are happening. Well, and there's also brilliant scenes of them, like beh- almost behind the scenes of them working the programs out and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I love that. He has that. a writer yeah. that's writing the script because yes. as he's fighting, is projecting his voice where people yeah. can hear what he's saying, fighting the guy. It's like the ultimate douchebag bad guy. I, I love yes. it. Like, yeah. it. You're like, what a, what a dorky thing, but it's awesome. Yeah. It is taken two of... I mean, Mysterio's okay in the comics, but he's never really been one that I've been like, oh, this is this is a major player. I, old and Man Vulture Logan. as well. Yeah, old I mean, Logan. Old Man Logan's the first one to really do it. Yeah, because the, uh, the current death of Logan or whatever is all about um, Sin and Mrs. Sinister has found out what happened in Old Man Logan. And so Old Man Logan's dying and trying to go after Mysterio because he doesn't want it to happen again. And then they're making it happen again in different ways. Oh, okay. So, so it's, 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 it's really interesting, like, comics-wise. He is one of those people that I think could have been used a lot much better more than efficiently. He has. Yeah. And, and that's one thing they go into all the time. They're like... If you're the, because he's like having the the Avengers fight each other and everything, and they're like, "How the fuck did you get beat by Spider Man all these times?" Yeah, because everyone thinks he's like a, you know, a pushover, and it's just because Spider Man has his extra sense and can always beat him. Yeah, so everyone thinks he's a pushover and he's just like a low level criminal, low level villain. But it's just because he couldn't get out of the rut of fighting Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I love that they've taken though two two kind of C-list yes. Spider-Man yeah. villains like Vulture and Mysterio now, and just elevated them up. Yeah, yes. definitely, and cranked them up to like major players. And I, they, I feel they, they didn't try to go after Green Goblin again no. or Doc Ock again. Thank God. Well, I feel like it's smart from especially Marvel's perspective because there's not a lot of like weight into them. Like mm-hmm. when you, when you announce someone like Vulture, most people are like, how are you going to make that good? And it's, it's people wanting to know how you're going to do it. So it allows yeah. Marvel to do it. If it's someone like Venom or Carnage, you're like, Oh, this is going to be badass. The expectation number it's, one is very high. It's super mm-hmm. high. And then they also have these great storylines that they tie everything back to. So they're, they want to see those storylines. They don't want to see their characters reworked. Yeah, someone like Mysterio, it sounds like that there's going to be a lot more forgiveness because he's not going to be like everyone's top tier villain where they're like, ah, Mysterio, you fucked him up. It's like, hey, they made him a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think it allows them that freedom. And they did it extremely well how they did that. And just seeing like Peter kind of having to react with those things because there's so many things that were glossing over. But, you know, him as he's getting kind of transitioned to working with Nick Fury and being part of this bigger team he's growing from it and he's at the same time still a teenager where like he at one point accidentally calls a drone strike on a guy yeah. <laughs> that took a picture of him in a, in a very awkward situation. So this drone's about to come kill him with like, you know, and he's like, Peter's trying to stop it just cause he's a dumb kid. He made a dumb mistake. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's fun just seeing him cause they keep him as such a teenager. You never feel like he's, more of an adult. He's always having to deal no, with this. They did a brilliant job with all the teens in this. Yeah. It's very, everyone felt very teenagery. Absolutely. And just yeah. like him having to come to terms with the fact that he gave away his, his Edith to the wrong guy. He's a bad guy. Now he has to go back and correct it. Mm-hmm. You know, luckily he's able to look, get happy to help him. There's that great scene where, you know, Peter, there's that amazing scene where Peter goes to fight Mysterio and Mysterio just messes with his mind. Yeah. That God, that was such a I I've been wanting to talk to you about that scene for quite a while. I was my jaw was dropped. It was done so well. Yeah. 
the visuals in that were just crazy good. I, like the whole time, I was like, "This it looked right out of the comics." That to me, Marvel does a great job, but like, in some, it always feels like a movie. It never feels like they tore off the pages of a comic. Mm-hmm. That felt pulled out of the pages. Yeah, of the, the comics. snow globe yes. part especially was like, "Holy uh, shit, that's fucking awesome!" Iron Zombie Iron Man coming yes. out, like you know, coming towards them. Like, there's just this entire scene. Yeah, you missed all this, Chuck, of just craziness, and like it's. And Peter doesn't know who to trust, like what to trust, because he knows his mind's being played with. But it's just he can't, you can't stop it because it's mm-hmm. so realistic. Yeah, and all of his spider senses are going crazy. He's yeah, doesn't know when to dodge, when to not dodge, where to dodge. It's just crazy, insane. One of the, I, I would say that's probably one of the best scenes Marvel has ever made on screen. Period. Like it was just, it was, yeah, I was in love with it. I could watch that scene numerous times because it was done so well. But he wakes up and he's in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't know what happened, so he luckily gets happy to come. And I love the little nods that they did to the Spider-Man game. Like, uh, oh yes, there's there's one where he's just swinging through and he takes a selfie, which is really cool. But when he he gets on the plane and Happy and him are going to finally you know fight Mysterio, and he's going to make his own suit. He's looking through all the different suit prototypes, and there's a few from the video game. I was like, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, like that they they gave a little nod and we because the game was so impactful for the Spider-Man lore. Um. You know, and when he finally comes and he gets a chance to fight Mysterio, it's a cool fight. It's it's definitely, you know, it's a Marvel type ending where there's just like a thousand drones for him to fight, and he's just yeah. going around beating the shit out of them. Really well done. Uh, you know, I thought it was good. I, I didn't love that part. Yeah. And then interspersed with the with with the elemental, what everybody else saw, yeah, and everything was great. Graphically was cool. I actually was yeah. enjoying Happy trying to defend. <laughs> Because, like, Happy goes to do the Captain America shield throw, and it just, like, plops down. He's like, how does Cap do that? (laughs) It's so good. Yeah. It's such a, like, you're like, like, oh, Happy's about to be a badass. Nope. Yeah, they're picking up halberds and shit. And (laughs) it's For one drone. That's how I guess, like, to give you the level, the drones are so evil. Um, So, Mysterio dies. uh, You know, air quotes. We don't know if he's really dead. Although... From everything that they perceived on screen, like he had Edith run scans and, and it said, you know, he heartbeats dead and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm still like, not 100% on that. No, me either. I'm wondering if he was still somehow like he hacked into Edith. Who knows? Yeah. But, you know, Mysterio dies and, you know, everything's wrapping up. Everything's looking really cool. You're like, all right, it's a happy story. They're back. Uh, MJ now knows who Peter Pan or Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. <laughs> Peter Parker is Spider Man. She knows that. She's, you know, down for it. She's there for the game and then all yeah, this is the first end credits yeah all of a sudden like the, sc- the screen lights up and it's uh mysterio announcing that spider-man is peter parker no no it's, it's going to uh everywhere jameson jameson that's right yeah rural yeah jameson oh my god and, and it's it's the real jameson that you, yeah. everybody loved from- jk simmons is back yep yeah and he you know spider-man's a menace and they find out that Spider Man is Peter Parker, and it's shot all over the world. Yeah, and they, may, and mis, they uh, Mysterio's team edited the video to, to make it look like Parker killed to him. To look like Peter killed Mysterio and was running the drones to make it look like he was controlling the elementals. Yes. Yeah. So it, it leaves the, the very <laughs> end with like Peter's world yet again turned upside down because now he's going to be public enemy number one instead of being the lead of Avengers. And you're like, holy shit! Like, yeah. I, I'm like, I want the next Spider-Man now. I want to yeah. know what's going to happen. Where is this shit? Yeah, <laughs> that was probably the best post scene we've gotten in a long time. So maybe since the Thanos reveal. Yeah. No, it was great. And then you get one more reveal, and yep. it's that uh, Nick Fury has actually been a scroll, but you don't know how long he's been a scroll because he's still alive. He's yeah. Out he's, in space. he's up in space. Yeah, Talos from the Captain Marvel movie. Yeah. Is actually Nick Fury in this has been Nick, Nick and Fury in this his movie. His wife is Maria Hill. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how the fuck long has that been going? Exactly. That, that fucked me over big time. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Well, because I'm like, has he been portraying Nick Fury almost the entire time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because obviously, like as you know, Captain America or Captain Marvel uh, puts it, like you remember everybody's like memories then, so he knows his character. You know, like how Nick Fury would act and stuff like yeah. that. So has it been Nick Fury the well, other and, and he was a little know. he was a little out of sorts in this film, this particular film. So my theory is it's only been since um Endgame. Maybe Endgame, maybe Ish. Infinity War. 
um, because I think this is going to lead into sword. Um, I, I have another theory on that. Okay. I think this is going to lead into sword, and Nick Fury has been up there because now we've had Thanos come to Earth. We need to have something to protect us from the suit around the world, kind of like Tony had said. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's been Nick Fury since Winter Soldier. Since Winter Soldier. When uh, he was also he was almost killed? assassinated by uh-huh. B- Bucky. I think he oh, might have been shit. killed, and they ran Tahiti on him. I don't know about Tahiti, but I would say... I know using, it's an Agents using, of S.H.I.E.L.D. thing, yeah. but... Using the scrolls as LMDs? Yeah. Could... That's a very Nick Fury thing. LMD? Yeah. Uh, Life model decoys. Yeah, so, so a lot of times, Nick Fury gets killed all the fucking time in the comic books. But it's always a robot or a replica of some sort. Mm-hmm. Uh, life model decoys is what they use all the time in the comic books. So that would be a very Nick Fury thing to instead. It was a scroll that was acting like me, and he was in contact with me. And he, I, you know, I have actually been in space, but there have yeah. been four or five of me running around doing other things. That's so Nick Fury. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Great movie. We I loved should. it. I think it's it's my favorite Spider Man movie now. Oh yeah. Yeah, easily. I still might like Spider Verse better. Yeah. Spider Verse was good. Okay. It's my favorite live action Spider Man. I I think I do like it better than Spider Verse, but maybe just barely. I love yeah. Spider Verse. We've gotten some really ga- great Spider Man stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Over his past two years. Yeah. <laughs> no, they they really have just turned the tides and made Spider Man. Amazing. Excellent. Truly amazing, amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's not yeah. just a clever name anymore. Amazing, spectacular, even yeah. web of. Yes. <laughs> so that's what we thought about Spider-Man Homecoming. I know it was just a lot Far of... from home. Yeah, damn it. I, I'm just all mixed up on names. Homecoming was great, too. Yeah, we, 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 we like that one, too. Yeah. But uh, Far From Home. I just hate the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's talk about podcast, what we've been up to. I'm sure you guys have just been at the edge of your seat every day saying, why, God, has there not been a new uh, episode dropped on Monday? Well, the reason is, as we decided that we could be better. Yes. We could provide you a lot. You heard how shitty this thing's been this entire episode. Mm-hmm. Well, we're trying our best to actually bring you full, thought-out content, uh, full ideas that we have sat around, we've brainstormed, we've wrote scripts, and we are... In the process of making them. Yeah. There's a couple of different things we've been doing. Uh, number one, like as Ray mentioned earlier, we're actually doing full-on board game reviews. We play it. Mm-hmm. We record it. We uh, sit around. We have been reviewing it. So we have a few of those in the bag, and we're just waiting until we get us that sweet spot number to release them to you. Uh, we've been working on a new uh, series called I've Never Seen It. I've mentioned it in the past. Yep. Mm-hmm. But we talk about some of the greatest movies that we somehow let slip by, and we have been watching those and reviewing them. And they have been in the process of being edited and recorded. Also, Ray has a show that he had thought up about the great intros of the 80s cartoons that we grew up watching. Yeah. And we're breaking it down and reviewing the shit out of them, telling you what's good about it, the history of the composers, everything that just makes those... It's the music of it. The music, not the show. Not the shows. Yes. You got to... It's not the video, it's just the audio. You have to try and disconnect yourself from everything you love about the show and just judge it on the music itself. Yeah. And sometimes that's hard. It is. Mm -hmm. Because I have a bad taste in music, so... Yeah. That's absolutely true. That one song that had Nickelback, man, it was just like, Chuck's like, he's the best, goddammit! Tens across the board. (laughs) Um, and really threw our averages off. Yeah. yeah. And so from there, uh, mm-hmm. Ray had this brilliant idea. <laughs> Actually, well, well, it, no. it, this was my idea. It started with the meme he posted, I think. I posted oh, that. You posted and that And then I said, oh, okay. God I damn it, Tim. So here's That's the still thing. Thunder. We've, we've, it, uh, the stuff we've been working on has been taking a little bit longer than we thought it would. So we, we, we wanted to launch 250 with our new, our new formats. But... I just uh, want to quit. I wish you yeah. could see our faces yeah. right now. But uh, but it's like I said, it's taking a little bit longer. So we said, well, we've got to give the listeners something big for our 250th episode. <laughs> and uh, well, um, we came up with we came up with an idea, and it was that we were going to try and rate. Every little Debbie <laughs> that we could get our hands on. And uh, unfortunately, we were only able to get a hold of 
30 of them. <laughs> Not 30 pies, 30 boxes. 30 boxes of pies. So we're sitting here around our new podcasting table. Hello. And um, we have 30 different varieties of um, of Little Debbies that we're going to be trying out. We broke them down into categories. We're going to be rating them on looks, textures, and overall taste and giving you a total score. But uh, we're going to real quick take a break. We're going to get us some coffee. We're going to get us some water. And we've got some milk here. Chuck's got his um, his rum. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're this next segment is going to be us being fat guys and eating 30 different Little Debbies. Uh, we have specific rules. Uh, you must try each treat. There is no wimping out. You can't say, oh, I don't like that. No. Nope. It doesn't matter. You've got to eat it. That's right. And you must take at least two bites of each each of the Debbies. Yes. I think that these rules are specifically directed at Charles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of yeah, them. Yeah, I get some you. Some of them. Some <laughs> of them. But uh, and also, like, yeah, you know, you can't be like, oh, my stomach hurts. We're only at... 15 i can't finish it no you got to go all the way through you have to try every one of these That's right uh so yeah like i said we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit about our history with little debbies and uh we're going to do this bitch do it Very few times have I done things in life that I knew I was going to regret right away. Yeah. This is absolutely one of those times. No, there's, there's been several. <laughs> First one is becoming Chuck's friend. I, I knew right away that I wouldn't enjoy it because I, I was like, here goes this hobo walking down the street, but he's wearing a Hacksaw Jim Duggins shirt, so I know he's kind of cool. And But then he started talking about mining for turd girl. And so anyway, um, so we have 30... 30, 30, yeah, 30. 30 boxes of Little Debbie cakes um, that we have been collecting around the Tri-County area. It's hard. It's weird how many places don't have, but only like, it's like almost they've been split up by districts of yeah. like, okay, the north side of town doesn't yeah. get this shit. Yeah. This, this is the south side, guys. Well, I remember yeah. I, I went into uh, Publix, you know, if you're, if you're not from the south in the U.S., Publix is... The gold uh, standard. The gold standard, and mm-hmm. um, for grocery stores, and they the selection there was not real, not real, not real good. It's for no. rich people. The yeah, little no, babies is, are for poor people. This is yeah. poor people food. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And so Walmart you, now they had a lot. They had a plethora. So if, if you're super rich and you don't know about it, little Debbie are just little cakes, you probably seen Sand them. Cakes. I think they're uh, pretty popular. Star Crunch is probably one of the ones. Oat cream pies. Oh, big one. Pies. The Swiss mm-hmm. rolls. Yeah. Um. But they have a whole bunch of different uh, selections actually. So we kind of broke it down. We're going to be looking at look, texture, overall taste, and we'll give you a total score. So the way we're breaking a score is score one through five. One, you just hate it. You just worst thing you ever tasted. Oh, we two, can't do a zero. No, you, you, you just hit. <laughs> uh, two, it's not the worst. You know, I'll probably never eat it again. Three, it's okay. Uh, four, I like it. This is probably one I'll buy every once in a while. Five is like I fucking love it. This is my go-to from now on, or it's always been my go-to. But before we do that, Ray had a couple of pre-questions he wrote down. I thought were pretty good to give you an idea of what our palate is, yeah. so you kind of have an idea uh, for everybody's ranking where they're coming from. So the pre-question number one is, what is your favorite Little, little Debbie currently, Ray? Uh, my favorite one I could not find anywhere. Uh, it's a it's PB and J pie. So it's a it's a oatmeal pie that has peanut butter and jelly in it. Couldn't find that anywhere. I looked all over the place. I even looked on Amazon and they didn't have them. So uh, that probably never existed. This is something they, they, you they did. They were delicious. They were delicious. Um, or they came out when Little Debbie first came out. <laughs> he actually knew Debbie like. <laughs> She's like, you want some peanut butter and jelly? He knew, he knew her when she was still yeah. little. Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of uh, out of the ones we currently have here, the the peanut butter crunch bars are are my favorite though. Charles, what about good. you? Damn peanut butter crunch bars, baby. They're, they're, they're the best. Star like crunch. a peanut butter star crunch or star crunch guy. Yeah, I star crunch was like it was almost my number one, but lately. If I go for something, it's fudge rounds. I'm a fudge round guy. Gotcha. Oh, I, I love get it. Fudge rounds, not bad. Fudge rounds really good. Um, 
I like the texture of them. They're super soft. And yeah. Anyway, so most looking forward to. I'll kick uh, out of all of them that I've been looking at. There, when it's going to be one of the first ones to do is this turtle brownie. It smells very, very good. I'll agree. I like the That's aroma. one I'm most looking forward um, to. Right it now. has. It's just. It's a brownie with like a. I guess turtle stuff yeah, on top. Caramel, caramel and uh, peanuts caramel. on it. Yeah. Um, what about you, Ray? Uh, I'm or, the orange cream cake. I'm interested in it. I don't know if it'll. It, I don't think it'll be my favorite. Peanut butter is kind of my go-to for like this kind of stuff, but that one really intrigued me. Charles, what about you? It's sad that I've had most of these within like the last two months, <laughs> but uh, the one I don't remember having was the uh, Boston cream pie one. So I'm looking forward to that. That does look interesting. Boston cream uh-huh. pie swirl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real fun. All right, uh, TJ. Oh, I, I told you I agreed with the turtle brownie. Oh, okay, turtle was you yeah. too. Turtle brownie. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, last, what are you least looking forward to? We'll start with TJ for this one. Banana twins. <laughs> yeah, Banana yeah, that's twins. look too good, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Banana twins. Banana twins look like a bitch. They're not my. They're like my number two. But uh, there's a jelly cream pie that's like a chocolate. Mm. It's not even. It's not even a a moon pie ripoff, but it sort of is. That has like strawberry jelly, it's like a and whoopie pie, cream in it. Yeah, it looks horrible to me. I am not looking forward to that. It was a hard fight. I'll though, agree with the banana twins. I out of all of them, I really hate artificial strawberry stuff. So most likely anything strawberry, I won't be a fan of. I might be wrong. Uh, and banana artificial twins, artificial banana is, is right up there. Bad. I fucking hate oh, bananas. There, there's like three strawberry ones. Are there any? There's the strawberry shortcake roll, the strawberry cake, strawberry fudge dip then cakes, and then the jelly roll that I yeah. said. Are there any of those three, or just all of them? Pretty is there much. One? Uh, out of all of them, the one I'll probably be able to stomach the best is with the chocolate fudge dip because yeah. I like chocolate a lot. So sometimes mm-hmm. chocolate and strawberry doesn't bother me, but the. Uh, this one right it's here. It's the strawberry jelly. The strawberry the rolls. The strawberry strawberry cake, shortcake rolls. Yeah. I, I just hate strawberry shortcake. Um, I, I hate the jelly <sighs> strawberry. The, the the strawberry cake is going to be strawberry cake, so I like that. But mm-hmm. So we're going to kick it off. We're going to start with a fan favorite from a lot of people that I've talked to about this is okay. Cosmic, Cosmic Brownies. Brownies. So, uh, you know, for me... I always like the old school one that came with the peanuts on top. But yeah, Cosmic, English walnuts. Yeah, English walnuts. So we're going to take a bite here. Oh, that is very dense. Yeah, actually, um, oh God. nice and soft. Sometimes these get dried out. Uh huh. It is moist, but it's way too dense for me. Mm-hmm. I actually really like dense stuff. The chocolate's really good at first, but as you chew it, it kind of gets bitter. Hmm. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to take, take my second bite. I didn't get any uh, of the Cosmic on that I first bite. I got some bite. Cosmic on mine. Um, it doesn't add anything for me. Mm-mm. It's almost I don't understand the weird fudge part on the top. Of the brownie, it's like a ganache on top of the the brownie itself. Does that, not help it. Mm-mm. That's actually I, see. That's the part I I like on it is the ganache. I think they, if they had, you know, it would make it better if they actually put a lot more cosmic stuff to give you more crunch to that texture to yeah, it. Yeah, because it's a super dense cake Very dense. with that I, dense chocolate look, on top of it. I think I like the walnut ones better because yeah. it, it gives you a it gives you another texture, but it also combats that sweet with a yeah. little bit of savory yeah. I would those say nuts. when you look at it when it's in the back this is a bad example that one didn't look very good um the, this box looks like it might have got crunched but it's actually a very fun looking brownie like it's it's rectangular it has a bunch of colors so it's extremely colorful it has um, it, it, it's all these little fun little candy fill yeah. or uh, it's like fake m&ms on top of yeah. it um tiny ones so Actually, it reminds me of us. It's uh, skit, skitlets? Sixlets. 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 That's, yeah. They're like mini ones of those. So it has a really nice look. It looks inviting. Uh, I'm going to go with a four on that. The texture, though, I like dense. Yeah, I don't like the texture. I, I put a two for texture. So no. I'm a four. Uh, overall taste, though, I'm not. I just said I don't love it. It's, it's, a, it's a three for me. It's absolutely. like it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to be two. pissed that someone gave me a two. Yeah. It's um, just it's too much, yeah, for me. Especially starting oh, off. If I with. had to eat a whole one, yeah, that would be. See, for me, like my favorite, I I eat cosmic brownies quite often. Uh, my, you know, so me, it's like I'll take a whole bite. I, I try, I try and one bite them sometimes. Yeah. Be the ultimate fat guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but a total score it for is me, very very sweet. It Maybe is. overly yeah. sweet. Uh, I give it an eleven total score for my on this. Um. You know, it's a cosmic brownie. It's what you expect. Yeah. I gave it a six. I have a seven. Five. Hey, oh, wow. Chuck uh, with the lowest over there. Wow. Mm. Uh, so now we're going to go to this turtle. Uh, does anybody have a the full turtle? Mine actually got flipped. So I would say look. 
this one, like I said, just looks really good. This looks it does look good. Um, mm-hmm. It's very sticky because it has that caramel on it. TJ took some really pretty pictures beforehand, and like this on top of a glass plate looked extremely Ooh. inviting. Yeah. Now this one, I just took a bite out of mine. It was not as dense. I'm that, enjoying that a lot more. The caramel, it's not as sweet. I don't, know, I don't like this one as much. Really? I thought I was gonna like it more. The caramel is just it doesn't taste like caramel. I let me take another bite. You know, it's sweet. And, you know, it has it, the brownie texture is okay. It, it reminds me is honestly a cosmic brownie with some caramel on top of it. No, I mm-hmm. think the the texture is a lot different. This is more of a cake like texture. Mm-hmm. It's not as heavy, and I think it's not super dense. And like I've I've had these before, and I'm not really the biggest fan. But from the I cosmic have. brownie to this, it's a better balance having a cakier batter instead of a super dense batter with that super sugary caramel on top of it. I yeah. think this is a better option, and I'm not a fan of these. I kind of yeah, hate I like it. it. I kind of I thought I was gonna like this. I don't like it at all, actually. I like the look. The look, it gets a four. Uh, it didn't break over two for anything else. This is a a total of seven. We we totally uh, flip flopped because mine, this one was an eleven for me, and the cosmic brownie was a seven. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, yeah, I whew. oh man, I just I do not like the aftertaste of it. Is what it is. Hmm. I I do wish there were a little bit more nuts on it. That's what she said, right? <laughs> TJ, yeah. what'd you score it over there? I gave it an eight. I think the um, no, it kind of went middle of the road on the look and texture, but the uh, the taste. I thought the chocolate was really bland. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it was because I still have some of the other in my mouth still. Yeah, you know, I rinsed my mouth out real good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think we, that one was that cosmic brownie was really overpowering. We are trying to like do little palate cleanses so that you know we don't let the thing we eat before like overtake something else. Uh, Charles, what was your total there? Uh, three on the look for it because it's just goopy mess. But uh, two for texture, two in the overall taste. Actually, no, I think three. I'd give it a three for the overall taste. So that's going to bump it to an eight for me. Okay. Very interesting on there. So now we're going to go to uh, what's been labeled the miscellaneous. Uh, like pastries. miscellaneous pastries and such. To me, these are more like the breakfast pastries besides the chocolate cupcake. We have a pecan spin wheel, donut sticks, and then honey butts, um, which are all, to me, like pretty good breakfast like with coffee. Like it's yep. a good yep. morning. Wake up, eat one. We're going to start with the pecan spin wheel. Now, I, as a kid, love spin I was spin about wheels. to say, so, so we have to take two bites of this. I always unroll it I know, as I, I eat it. So do I have I. to bite into it, or do it? Can I unroll it? Now mine's breaking apart. Mine's not unrolling. Uh, that it's too dry. Oh, that's a that's, that's one issue I had with these. Well, the outside's always so dry. There we go. Now I'm getting. Yeah, the inside's pretty. I got my my two bites in. I'm going. Oh man, that takes uh, me it back. It doesn't. It doesn't unroll at all. Mm. I like the the little six usually pack the, tray. Usually of them the outside, yeah, them. those, yeah. Usually the outside will break up a little bit and once you get into that second roll. Dude, can I dunk it in your milk? This bitch is fucking sawdust, dude. This thing's dry. Well, no, I offered you milk. So I, uh, I I rolled into the middle and I took my first bite in the center. It is delicious. It uh, yeah, the center part is mm. once you get in there, cinnamon, just like rich. It's soft in the inside. It has a nice goo to it. Um, I, I really love spin wheels though, so I got to kind of preference that. But like, it's right into my my taste. Yeah, like this taste. this is against the rules. But you throw this in the microwave for five seconds. Yeah, that's where it's at. Um, no, I I, I have to give this one. Uh, this one's going to score pretty high for me. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. I mean, it is. It's a little Debbie, but on the little Debbie scale, it's not overly sweet like those brownies were. Well, cinnamon's like a real safe bet to always go with because cinnamon just has a nice sweetness, but it, you know, it just it's never going to be overpowering. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's I think it's right at the right level. 
And I really liked it. Like I agree with, with Charles. If you on the outside, it's it's dry. No, dude, I went straight bite to the middle. It yeah. was yeah. dry. Yeah. Well, because you're getting see, I, I unrolled the outside and ate the inside. So I kind of cheated with that, but it's because I knew the inside was going to be the the just that's the creme de la creme. I, for, I forgive it for its shitty outer layer. It's almost like they should put instructions: don't eat the outer Three layer. Of this. <laughs> You get two bites, and that's actually all you get of the cake. But it's a, uh, it scored a thirteen with me. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Got a four. A four. Wow. For what? Give it an eight. For for which part? The pecan. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah. The whole, yeah. Oh, I was like, which one did you give it a four to? You didn't like it overall. Oh, it, it got twelve for me. Yeah. And then eight over there. Yeah. I, yeah. I love the look. It's a very fun looking cake. Uh, when you look at it, it just looks appeasing. You want to yeah. eat. So like, how? Yeah. Like, what did you score it on? Look. One, it was like I saw no pecans or nothing in it. When it's I a, take it's a, a bite, pinwheel. It looks so pecan cute and adorable. Pinwheel. Or you spinwheel, did. my bad. All right. All right. That's throwing off our averages again. Yeah. Just the hating on stuff for the sake of hating. All right, let's eat Chuck's favorite is donut stick. Yeah, so Chuck was a, a raver about these donut sticks. Um, listen to this. That's me hitting it with my fingers. Very tough. I actually like this more than I thought I would. This one is pretty, um, it's more moist than I thought it would be. Now they're always, actually, that's got a really nice sweetness to it. The I'm texture of it is one. pretty good. The, uh, the glaze on top almost gives it a little crunch. It does. I got a little bit of saltiness in there with mine. No aftertaste is always a good thing. There's like a hint of like lemon when you're eating it. Maybe that is what I'm picking up because I, just, yeah, it's, just, it's just a hint. Almost like yeah, it has like that lemon cake, but like I said, yeah, that's yeah. dead on what yeah. That's enjoyable. It's not a pretty. It looks very. No, it's, hor- it's, it's horrible it's looking. Ugly. It doesn't look appeasing, which always kind of takes me where I don't want to eat them. I just feel like I have like a a greasy film yeah. in my mouth after eating. That's one my of these, least so. favorite thing about. Almost all of these, as you have that, like uh, especially like donuts, yeah, donut things like this, yeah. Because if they're not fresh, they kind of sit there; they can dry out sometimes, and they get that. It got a seven, like I said, donut stick. It gets an eight for me. Seven, a ten, ten. Okay, yeah. Like uh, I think with TJ is drinking coffee. I think they are a perfect pair together with that. That probably actually isn't probably helps a lot. Um, so now we're gonna go to honey buns. honey bun classic. I love a honey bun. They're very sweet. These are also, you microwave these for five seconds, you're in hell. To me, like, that's how you yeah, get a honey bun. Now, I will say when you look at a honey bun, it just it looks like just this sticky, greasy thing. It doesn't look good. And it's it's not, not wrong. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. And honestly, honey buns, um, compared to what they look like on the box to what you actually get. This thing looks like someone sat on it. The, you, you you always have the little Debbies that are in someone's kid's backpack that gets smashed up and then they still eat it. Honey bun always looks like it was in someone's backpack and smashed. Back. I have to say, though, the texture is on point with this one. It's very soft. Um, it's one you don't have to chew. You can almost just like... I'm going to regret this. I'm going to take a third bite. On third. I've, I'm going to set this to the side because I that is... I'll probably still one for tomorrow. That is good. I forget how much I like honey buns. This is like kind of reawoken the beast of like, man, honey buns are good. I've honestly been uh, craving a honey bun for a while, but I've been trying to be good, not you know, eat shitty things. You no, know, it's crazy. Don't get a whole lot of honey to the flavor, so it's a zero. I'm chucking over here. Yeah, uh, I don't see any honey. There's no, There's bears. no fucking bees yeah. anywhere yeah. in yeah. this. There's, I gave it a three. It's, total? No. Oh. Three is on overall taste. I don't know. This might be a five taste for me. You gave me. I gave it a seven overall. I really like because the, the appearance of it. Yep. I like it. That one's not. It's a one on looks. It's not over sweet. Yep, it is me. a one on looks. But I gave it a three and a three for texture and uh, overall taste. I gave two fours. I gave it eleven. It not nine for me. It's a ten for me. Yeah. It's uh. Man, that taste. It, it actually got me almost want to come back for more. So I, that's always a really good thing. So now we're going to move to a chocolate cupcake. This is like the most generic looking of all cupcakes. It's a hostess oh, I th- cupcake, I think this bro. has a good presentation yeah. to it because it has the swirls on it. It is like a hostess cupcake. This is a ripoff of a hostess cupcake. Who knows what came first? I don't. When you smell it, it smells extremely nice. It has like it that. It does. It has some cake. good chocolate. Yeah. The, it it's looks got, like there's some effort put in designing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't look shitty like the uh, like the um, honey, honey bun, bun or did. donut stick. Or yeah. 
cosmic brownie. It's well, moist. The, the sponge is really moist. It's very moist, but it's very sticky. Yeah, I I don't like uh, cream fillings a whole lot. Not this kind. I do like the uh, icing on top. It, it reminds me of a, of a homemade cake almost. I mean, not not by looks, but when you take a bite, it just reminds me of that. That's pretty good. Very chocolatey, like heavy, heavy chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I like the uh, the top as well. Which never go wrong with that. Really like to hear Chuck's thoughts over Mister Silence over there. I don't know what's going on. You're eating uh, a goddamn cupcake, Chuck. No, how he was talking, but no. Um, this the cupcake. The filling kind of was a little off putting on it. So without that, it literally was a combination for me, taste texture wise, of like the cosmic brownie and the turtle brownie, where it had that cake. Like because the the consistency of the uh, the cupcake was almost that of the uh, turtle brownie. With the ganache from the chuck or the cosmic brownie on it, so it's like kind of a play better off the two. That's but good this catch. is this is much better than the turtle brownie. Yes, honestly, the I, longer I, I sit here, it's getting sweeter in my mouth, and I'm hating that. And and I think uh-huh. a lot of it has to do with the uh, the filling. The filling is hard, <laughs> horrendous. Yeah, to yeah. Me. The filling is awful. Exactly. I just it's not a very good flavorful. Filling in there, so yeah, that filling knocked two points off of it for me. Oh uh, yeah, no, it, it total it. Uh, I gave the look. I think it's a very cute looking cupcake. Yeah, I didn't it, mean anything. Three, right. It really it's, is. Yeah, it's a three. Yep. It's, it's pretty good. Texture two. Overall taste, I gave it a three. I like it. It's a. I mean, it's okay. I don't hate it. it if I was at someone's house and they're like, "Hey, you want one?" Yeah, sure. Give me one. Yeah. I'll take one. I'm not gonna buy it. Yeah. So it gets an eight. It's the best you're gonna get, you fucking cupcake. <laughs> I got an eight for me too. I gave it a ten. Oh really? Yeah, I, um, I like the look a lot better than the other ones. I I like that they actually made an effort. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to okay, okay we'll sprinkle some M and M's on top, or you know, we'll half-ass this turtle mix on the top. Which turtle mix is supposed to look half-assed anyway? Yeah. Um, and then uh, so out of the ones we've done so far, I think that's the best looking one that we've had. Okay. So uh, now we are going to rolls. So uh, we're, and we're starting off with the Swiss roll, which is a very, very classic. It's iconic. It's funny to me. Like, it comes in a two-pack, um, but it is, the Swiss roll is half the size of every one of, the, uh, uh, of these other ones. And um, since it came in a two-pack, me and Nathan were, uh, were splitting Attempting a pack. Split it. And just so stereotypical of a fucking Swiss roll, half the chocolate of Nathan's fell off. <laughs> yep. And just stick to it. Like, that's always classic. Um, you know, Swiss rolls are one of those, they look a lot better on the box than what you get inside. Yeah, both of ours left its pelt on the plastic <laughs> yep, wrap. Yep, yep, uh, Which, you know, I, I I grew up on Swiss rolls, I think. I, I never had Swiss rolls. I, was, I wasn't I was into them. I think this is, if, if, if I asked my dad, this would be his favorite because he freaking bought these things all the time. Like, I, I wasn't always a lover of them. I, these are another one I would like, though. I'd always eat the chocolate off mm-hmm. the edge and then kind of enjoy the middle cake. Oh, mm-hmm. I hate this. Ooh, I hate it. Yeah. It doesn't taste the same. It's, it's more of that same cake. cream from the other thing. This is like the first one sugar. that I'm like, fuck, I don't want that second bite. This is almost like an, the inverted uh, cupcake. <laughs> almost. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's exactly how I remember it. People love these things, though. It's, it's some some people love the cream like that white fill, cream filling. People live for it. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I'm being too over the top, but this gets a three from me. I think. I think the looks is better than a one. Do you really? Yeah. It's, Even it, with it fucking up when it's in the when it's in the box when you're when you're opening it up and it's still in the packaging, which kind of how you know like you're eating with your eyes. You're looking at it like, oh, I'm about to have this. It you know it's like it looks it looks like a, a Swiss roll. You're like, all right, cool. This is gonna be good. Uh, yeah, texture, I hate though. that thing. Overall, to Ray, I need a zebra roll. It got a six for me. Um, Same two, two, and two. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. definitely a low score. All right, so the next one we're gonna jump into. This is a zebra cake 
Wait, was zebra cake roll? I've never had one of these. No, I, I've no. had the zebra cakes. I, yeah. th- those yes. are. I, I used to like those as a kid. Which um, I think this is a vanilla. <sighs> this is essentially like a Swiss roll with. Uh, it said it's a vanilla sponge and then that cream. Now I will say it looks excellent compared to its Swiss roll brother. It's oh, that's for sure going to be a zebra cake. <laughs> yep, in a roll. <sighs> okay, so the first initial taste that I get when I put my tongue on the Ooh. outside. I like it. I like the icing. I hate the I hate the, the sponge and the, the filling, cream. The filling is different than what was in the Swiss roll. No, it's it's it's, it is, it's compared different. to the it's it's is with that vanilla. What it is? It's okay. the same filling. It's there's no different filling of it. It's just it's that the cake is the, the cake, different. It's yeah. giving you the different taste and yeah. the icing huh. on the outside. Yeah. yeah, the icing on the outside is sweeter, I think, than the cream on the inside. Maybe. Which that, it wasn't on the Swiss roll. Yeah. I'm giving this roll a five on looks, though. It looks beautiful. Like, it's a work of art. I think um, I think I like the icing on that the most of any of the other ones. Of any of them so far. It's oh, uh, overall, like, maybe, Zebra Cakes are one of my least favorite. Like, oh, I style. like Zebra Cakes. So, so that's what I was about to say. Maybe some, some nostalgia coming back. It got a nine, but it, yeah, one hundred percent because I think it looks beautiful. It's it's so well designed. Like, I gave it a nine also, but it was I gave it the marks of three because okay. I mean for me it's not the greatest, but it always works. It's I, it's just a good flavor combination. It is getting very 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 sweet again. Yeah, yeah. that and that's one thing I'm I was raised don't if you're gonna eat something you put it in front of you, you finish it I can't do that. Yeah. I'm like, bite, bite. And I'm like, I'm regretting the fact that I'm going to be throwing shit away. Well, it's funny. I've never had a, a roll, but I see my grandmother always did the cakes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what it was. I, I think, think the, the rolls, rolls are a new. new thing. Ah, okay. Yeah. I never do a I think it's stick. too much. It honestly, I, needs to roll? Be, it honestly needs to be smaller. I think having the thicker cake in the zebra cakes, like the thicker sponge, helps it as yeah. opposed to the thinner rolled up. Yeah. And it's probably the same amount of substance. It probably is, but it I uh, I don't know. It just seems like it's more it's more packed in and hitting you in the face. Yeah. Now we're going to the Boston cream pie, which I have to say, yet again, another <laughs> really pretty. Yeah, this one's presentation. Gorgeous. Yeah, I like uh, this. It's got a nice tan sponge with chocolate drizzled on there. Uh, this looks like a different cream inside of it. It's like well, it's a, gonna be like Boston cream. Yeah, Boston cream. Uh, so let's take a bite. This a, one's actually better looking than the. Lo- the last one, when I it think. Pills I off, feel like it is. Half my chocolate came off, so I'm going to bite from the chocolate in. I don't like that. Mm-mm. I do not like that. It does not taste like Boston cream. That tastes. When I first t- bite into it, it's like, oh, Boston cream. Oh, wait. No, no you're <laughs> not. Mm-hmm. It's literally. Oh, oh, God. This is the second one I'm regretting. Oh, I think to this is the most oh. disappointed I've been in one. I hate this one because it looked good, yeah, yeah. and it built up expectations of deliciousness. And I take a bite, and that just oh, it's, it's, that's bad. That's pure fucking sugar. Mm-hmm. That, is, that is bad. There's no flavor at all. Yeah, it's just, I was I was looking forward to having a different kind of cream flavor from that white ass cream, and this one's yeah. yellow, and I did not get it. Guys, I hate that. My score does not reflect how how much I dislike that well, one because c- it looks good. Like that's where it gets you. Yeah, it looks cute. It's getting a four on looks and a one on everything else. Yeah, because it got it's, an eight. I actually, yeah, mine got a seven, but it's only because I I thought the look of this is better than the it's other. Gorgeous, ones. yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it better than zebra cake as far as looks. Oh, There's man. a six, a three, that two, has- and a one. After taste of that one is just dumb. I'm gonna take a bite of my honey bun. <laughs> Thank you, honey bun, for saving the day. Tell TJ to pour me some of that coffee in there. All right, so I need something now. All right, so we're this about our last roll to move to the strawberry shortcake. Uh, this one's very plain. You know, it's wait, what the fuck's on the bottom of it? It's a vanilla cream. Yeah, it's an yeah. icing layer. So this one, you know, taken out of the package, it's literally just. It looks like sponge, just a tan it sponge. It looks like a naked it's bo- Swiss It's a cake boring roll. ass. This is the, what was the other one? The honey bun looked like shit, and the Swiss roll looked like shit, I yeah. thought. This one looks like shit. Well, 
This does not look appetizing in any way. It's not crushed. It's not smashed up or anything. I mean, it looks... It looks appeasing. Boring. I mean, it's boring, but it's not, like, atrocious looking. I actually don't hate that. I'm honestly super surprised at how much... This was one of the strawberry ones that I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this because this has cream in it. Or not cream, jelly. I like this. This yeah. strawberry, weirdly enough, actually doesn't taste bad. And I think no, because it's, it's getting good. counteracted against the the regular frosting that's in there. Yeah, they actually the sort of together. tartness of the strawberry because all of these have been like just too sweet. But yeah, that wasn't not bad. Yeah, you know, super what? surprised. No, this is one of the ones I I do like. This is good. This is one of the ones I've liked before yeah. because it's not. I don't feel. I mean, it's sweet and tart, but it's not something I feel like I'm going to get sick. This should yeah. get the presentation that that Boston cream has. Absolutely, like yeah. this deserves a better. Like they should have like, like a red. Like, yeah, like red lines, kind of how they do that. Well, how the rest of the cakes look, just nice and striped on there, because it just looks so unappetizing. Like it's not ugly. I agree with Chuck. Like you know, it's nice. It's a nice just roll, but there's nothing wow about it. Yeah. But you do get a lot of really nice overall texture and flavor. Like especially, I like to take a bite, and I with this might be weird, but I, I let my tongue kind of break it apart inside my yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. man, it's just here. Like you get that sponge that mixes with the strawberry. I might be having to pull back that I, I don't hate things strawberry right now. That one was a huge surprise for me. That one wasn't horrible. That one, that one gets a nine. Again, the score does not reflect my feelings yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. Because that one got an eight for me, but that's because it looks like ass. Yeah, yeah, it's just I gave it a two on you know look, and then it got I gave it a one it got on look for me. Seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, four on taste and three on texture. It just had that same texture. Yeah, that three all texture, of these four have had. on taste. Uh, like yeah. the only difference, I guess, for us was the look. I, I hate the look. Yeah, the look is horrid. Right, now we are moving to the bars. I don't even know how to judge what the bar. Up? I think these are bars of cookies. I just didn't put that in there because some of these like say cookie cookies. Bars. Yeah. Well, because the uh, Star Crunch is going to be inside of this one. So it's fair. Star Crunch, I think, is going to be a, a worthy contender. If Peanut I'm... butter one, right? One of those. So we're starting I already, off. I already with, know how I'm voting this one with peanut butter crunch, which I'm looking forward to. I, I'm a big peanut butter fan. Uh, I am too. I love peanut butter. Um, really, you can never go wrong with good old peanut butter. All right. Uh, so you know this one. It's just a chocolate bar. Nothing to it. It's just a uh, melted chocolate on it. But let's uh, let's hear this bite, you guys. Right. Hmm. That's some crunch. Now we're getting real texture. I love this. Mm -hmm. We're actually getting something to chew. Mm. Beautiful. Just strong peanut butter. And it's creamy also to an extent. I love that the yeah. cookie goes all the way around. It's not yes. just on the base. Yes. Yeah, the peanut butter is definitely filled inside a round of a nice crunchy cookie. The chocolate kind of disappears, but it's not in a bad way. I mean, like just a strong peanut butter. Yeah. That is fantastic. Great fun. It's good peanut butter. Yeah. I love that. Saving that one for later, too. That's a big one. I wish that one had a better presentation because it deserves it. I don't think it has a bad presentation. It's, well, it's just, just no, it's, blah. it's what it is. It's yeah. a, it looks like a candy bar almost. Yeah. I get to 12. I'm giving it a 13. 5 on overall taste and a 5 on texture because it's giving you. Crunch, creaminess, eleven, everything you want. <clears throat> I got a twelve for me. Now we're gonna move to probably I would almost argue the most famous of, of Little Debbie is the Star Crunch. I, I I feel like if it's not the most famous, it and uh, oatmeal cream pie are up there. Yeah. Oh, I love that peanut butter though. Take a palate cleanser. Make sure you let us know what your favorite Little Debbie cake is. You can call Ray at 386. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bite into this Star Crunch. I know what it's going to taste like, but I know I'm going to love it. Nathan knows what it tastes like because he had three on the way over. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that's such a Kevin. Oh, yeah. My, oh. I don't know how you can't take a bite of one of these and just exclaim. 
Here's what I like about it. It's not Marshmallow holding it together. Yeah. I feel like anyone else would do Marshmallow, but it's sort of caramel. My God, I love Star Crunch. Like, especially, this is a nice fresh one. It's soft. But sometimes they can get dried out. Yeah. This one. It feels like the rice is stale in it, though. Mine's pretty good. Mine's not giving me that itch. I know exactly what you're talking about. Certain Star Crunches get that. Like, you'll get it, and you're like, eh, this is all right. But it, it, they they can get dried out. You'll bite it. it doesn't. It's not gooey. This one that I got right here is nice and gooey. Also, being room temp, it's going to help them out. Yeah. And uh, I will say, like, presentation, like, it just looks fun. You know, like, yeah. all it's like. It looks like a piece of shit, but, like, a fun piece of shit. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a chocolate covered Rice crispy treat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Messy. It just looked messy. Charles, sometimes I just don't know how to handle you. Two hands. I heard tweezers, but, you know. 14, guys. I gave it a four on overall look. It's not a five, but it definitely, to me, is just. When I look at it, I'm like, I want to eat that. I want you inside me. That's exactly what I always say. It's an 11 for me. Yeah, me too. 13. Now we're going to the old Nutty Bar. And uh, this one uh, this one this is... This just looks like a peanut butter wafer. Covered in chocolate. Covered in oh, chocolate. Um, oh, you get one. Yeah. So, again... Uh, I, I fucking love these. Yeah, I do too. I'm, I'm stuck with the conundrum of... Um, I always tear these apart with my tongue and eat them layer by layer, so I'm going to have to bite yeah. into it, and I'm, like, kind of disappointed. I uh, I eat both bars at the same time like a fat oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> just, like, going to, like, I, 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 yeah. I'm a big, like, I like big bites and just all the texture and once in there. It's like. Yes. Ooh, yeah. You know the funny thing is, like, any other type of wafer I fucking hate. Yeah. But there's something about nut, nutty butters that, like, just they work. They work very well. Because as you chew it, like that crunch becomes creamy. Mm-hmm. To me, like and it has a good crunch. Yeah, the peanut butter kind of sticks with you, and then you still get that chocolate because like it's just wafered in. You don't get as much peanut butter as you did with the with the peanut butter crunch bars, but you get the taste of it. You get a good the taste of it. You yeah. don't get the good creaminess of it, which is fine. It's it's a different it's a different animal. I think you the creaminess is still there because it mixes with the wafer. Once the wafer starts to break down, it turns creamy as you chew. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I get what you're saying. You don't have that massive tube of peanut butter, so I think which I do like. The taste is there, but the the amount of it's different. It's a thirteen right there, boys. That's a good one. Eleven, fourteen. I uh, I'm about my my mind just hates wafer so 13. much. I always got to remember. It's a nutter butter. It's yeah. You got to forgive this one for us. That's butter. a good one. All right. So our next one is a salted caramel cookie bar. I've never even had this. I don't think I've had I've, this um, one. I'd never heard of this. But when we started talking about doing this, I went looking online, and a lot of people rank this as the best little Debbie. Really? So I was interested in, in trying this guy out. Okay. Straight off, it's not a crunchy cookie oh wow so i wasn't expecting that no Mm-mm. very it, shortbread yeah mm-hmm. you still it's got the crunch of the shortbread but like that caramel and that saltedness to it that is really good that is really good i've yeah i've never even heard of this one this is, this is something. i don't even taste any chocolate at all in it i love the texture i love that I too mm-hmm. Oh, man. Rock and roll, that's good. I was absolutely expecting to get another peanut butter crunch bar, but with caramel instead. No. And that is that's not a what they gave beast us. beast altogether. It doesn't, it doesn't look very appeasing. I'll say, like, no. a, and out of all the ones we've had, this is the only one that as well, No, okay, I'm sorry. I'll take that back because it has salted caramel cookie bar on it, so it's, like, individually wrapped. Yeah. A lot of Little Debbies, you know, just come out, and it's just your, your basic... Uh, no, okay, that is a salted. Does I don't think any of the other ones identify what it is. The rest are just clear bags. Some of them. There's do. a few that the they're. turtle one. Big bar does too. Okay, so it's just hit or miss on that. Um, that was enjoyable. Terrible look. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised it went so low for me because it it got a twelve. 
They got a nine, but I, it's Eight. just because I gave the look a one. Yeah, it was a look for two, texture for two, and then taste of four. Now we're going to texture fig bars. Two, really? Yeah, because it got to the point after like two bites, the shortbread was gone, and it just felt like I was just like chewing a spoonful of caramel until it was gone. That's why I so. like it. I guys, now this is. I, I've never had a little Debbie that, that I can think of fig bar, but I love fig Newtons. So I'm looking forward oh, yeah. to this fig bar. I, I assume this is going to be a rip off fig Newton. Oop. Actually, that's pretty good. A lot more moist than I was yeah. thinking it would be. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yeah, fig Newtons sometimes dr- get you know dry. This one is really good. Well done, little Debbie. You might have became my new uh, go-to fig cookie delivery. I uh, hats off. That is dead on. It has some very yeah. strong fig going on in there yeah. too. Yeah, the fig is a very strong. It's not as a, it's not as like firm as a yes. like a fig Newton. Yeah, is. it's definitely like softer. I think it's because it's a larger mm-hmm. uh, one. It kind of reminds me if you go to like convenience stores, like fig Newton makes like. Fig bar similar to this, and you definitely get a, a better experience than if you buy the, the small fig cookies. Um, you know, look if if you're looking at it as as look, it's it looks like a fig. Like, it looks, looks like it looks, a fig Newton. It looks like a big ass fig Newton. Um, it's pretty. I mean, like you know, it's nice tan. It it looks good. It's nothing special. I still have to say that as of right now, I think the zebra cake is still like the the zebra roll is still the prettiest one we had. The only five that we got. So the fig bar, you know the look. Ten for me. I'd give it a good old three. It looks good, but uh, it's an eleven. It's gonna it's gonna edge out. You know the, the texture has okay. It's, there's not. Like, it's an eight texture. for me. But the taste is what 12. I love. I, I love like the, the flavor. I like yeah. the taste. the The texture is really nice, especially compared to other fig bars. Yes. Absolutely. Like a Who's um? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat these. I'm gotta be honest with myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to so be real to yourself. Who's feeling this right now? <sighs> I am definitely right. But you guys have been taking way. Like, I've been trying to take more portion bites and just like let it roll. I'm like I've seen you guys take some monster fucking. Yeah, bites. Yeah, the first two categories, I was like chowing down on it. Then I'm like, uh, once yeah, I yeah. took the bite of that Swiss roll, I'm like. Bite, yeah. bite. Nah, that's I, it. I've been playing right. the long game, like so. But you know, I'm doing You're stacking okay. the deck against us. What do you mean? You have all those, and we have three each. I handed them all to you. No, you the oatmeal raisin, the oatmeal cream pie. You sat down there, picked up, and sat back down again. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, now I'm 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 doing okay. I I can only imagine with coffee and milk how you guys are holding up. I'm actually impressed. Honestly, the milk is helping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was of rum I think I made water. Need to get some milk. Um, all right, so TJ is gonna get some milk. We got a big there old go. jug of milk that's been sitting in the freezer, so it's nice and cold. How can you eat? I mean, well, I'm able to eat it without. I'm doing water, but just because I'm a glutton. So we're gonna move to pies. So pies consist of oatmeal cream pies. These are like the cookies, but they call them pies. Fudge rounds. Well, I mean, I guess they're definitely more softer. Like there, a lot of these have fillings in the middle of them. Um, there's one of these son of a bitches. Now that I'm seeing it out of the box, it, it, you know what it is. If they write what it is on the on the outside, there's a pretty good chance it might not be good. It's gonna be shit. Marshmallow pie. You know, I take that back though. That fucking salted caramel cookie bar had a writing on it. And it was good. The- Horrible fucking moon pie, Ray. It's that jelly cream. I weirdly, I'm rooting for this raisin cream pie. I don't know why. I and love raisins. raisins. Allison loves those things. She was telling me all about how she wanted one. She wanted me to bring her one. I'm like, fuck. How, who did I marry? I know. I'm rooting for it. Wait on no, the raisin. But it's probably going to be terrible. Are you really? So, I like that's, raisins. I love raisins. That's a high not looking forward to for me. So we're going first with the oatmeal cream pie. So tried and true. It's a classic. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with oatmeal cream pie. Um, I'm and I feel like it's a good starting point for how the pies go. I feel like that kid from Matilda. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Got to eat the cake. Now I will say the only issue I'm going to have going through with this is 
<clears throat> the filling is just to the point where it's super sweet after going through all this. I know the filling's going to be like real super sugary. Ooh, you're See, not joking. Yeah. The f- mm-hmm. When I do an oatmeal cream pie. I don't pie, like them. I never really oh, have. I love them, but I know the amount of sugar that we've put in already, this is going to be like coyingly sweet. How do you think they look? Because, again, these look, almost all of these look like they've been smashed to hell. Dude, no, they look like an oatmeal cookie. Yeah, it looks like an oatmeal cookie. I mean, sort of. I guess it does look like an oatmeal cookie. I gave it a nine. You know, there's there's nothing great about the look of it. It looks like two cookies with some cream in the middle about it. But I do enjoy the texture of it as you chew it up, like the flavor profile that's on there. Um, you know, you get that cream in the middle and a soft cookie. It works pretty well together. Yeah. Overall taste, I give it definitely a four. I, 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 I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Yeah, I went Which, with an eight. I don't hate it. Nine. Funny story. I, I'm, I, an, I'm an eight. I thought I hated oatmeal cream pies. I, I had spent years like avoiding them, and then one day someone had one and gave it to me, and kind of reawoken. I was like, oh, you know what? I do like these. Mm. Now we're going to fudge round. So these are definitely my favorite. <clears throat> this is a these go hit or miss with me sometimes. I think these are going to be better for us right now because they don't have the same fucking cream we've gotten in every Little goddamn. Little Debbie really likes that that cream filling. I'm almost mad. A little dry because mine's a little dry too. Mm-hmm. They, that's how they go. They're either moist and nice, or they're a little dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm actually. I know I like fudge rounds, but right now I'm not liking the taste of this. I think our palate might be just overpowered by the amount of sugar we've been eating. Uh huh. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Like, because right now this tastes absolutely disgusting, and I love fudge rounds. So I'm just gonna pull from memory <laughs> <laughs> and and score it what I know it deserves. Oh God, that's just. Which is a 13, not a perfect 15, which is weird. My favorite cookie, and it's not that. They got beat out by a Star Crunch. I'm learning new things about myself, guys. Dude, Star Crunch is amazing. Star Crunches are good. That's hard to beat. Dude, heat that up, pour it on some ice cream, or put put ice cream on top of it. Dude, it's good. That is a genius idea, actually. Thank you. Thought of it after a lot of lonely nights. I'm really glad now, because we're, we're heading back to the realm of peanut butter. Yeah, but this is a peanut butter cream pie, so it's supposed to have a peanut butter filling, and it looks like it's a peanut butter cookie instead of an oatmeal cookie. So I'm I'm a little more excited about this than it's gonna hurt. Everybody. But it's, we're at that point now where we're all getting like weird sugar sweats, and we're like mad at each other and mad that we're in this room. No, because who I'm, came up with this stupid idea? Right. And, I think and we're all breathing really heavy. Yeah, I'm just. I think I'm just more angry that I know this is starting to hurt my mouth. This smells really good. It has nice... And it's just the fact I'm like... Fuck. I like the texture of the cream a lot better. I like this cookie. It's a very good um, peanut butter cookie. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's a really good peanut butter cookie. It really is. But the thing is, you're taking two bites. This whole thing I've, is going to be a little much. Yeah. Yo, this, this is a big one. Um, I think it specifically on the package says it's a big one for like yeah. back to school. They didn't have a normal size. Oh, okay, one. it's like the large size one. That makes more. Because yeah. I was like, this thing is monstrous. That's pretty damn massive. massive. It's really good, though. Really just strong peanut butter to cookie. The cookie looks really pretty. It looks almost like like homemade, the way they got the little marks in there. Yep. Yeah, I did like that. This yeah. thing, just if you take the filling out, the, just the texture alone on the cookie is great. So, so we, we have three. If it was by itself, I, I think I'd want a little more crisp to it. Yes. But I, I like it being a little more. I like my peanut butter cookies being a little soft like that. Well, I like them soft, but just I don't know how to describe it. Just a little a little bit darker. Yeah. You know, just like a little edge on it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it has more of a, a hold to it. Preparing yeah. for this, I didn't eat dinner. Me neither. 
Neither did uh, Nathan, right? No, no, Nathan. Uh, everyone is sitting. You should see the looks on our faces right now. We're like, why? Um, did, you, did you eat dinner, Charles? I had a pop tart this morning for breakfast. Okay. And um, I ate. I had brunch this morning with Allison, and I'm getting very full. It is now quarter to eleven, and w- yeah, it's, it's our quarter, time. Yeah, yeah. While we're recording this. So um, we have three more pies to go through, and then. Nine cakes. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't work tomorrow because I'm going to be probably shitting oh, or puking God. my guts out. And the next pie that we... I almost threw up, I think. Pie. <laughs> the next pie that we have is trying the to avoid sudden raisin... Right now. What the fuck is it? The raisin cream pie. Oh, yeah. This thing looks Uh-oh. worse like a than a masterpiece. <laughs> Nathan's <laughs> spilling it over oh, there. Oh, yeah. It's, am I, I driving you home? I might just quit. The podcast. <laughs> Damn it, man. I'm out, you bitches. Okay, well. Uh, this looks I, I, so dumb. No, I love I admit now this is the dumbest damn thing we have ever done. Motherfucker. This is the stupidest thing I've done in my life. Motherfucker. <laughs> Dry. Mm. Mine's extremely moist, actually. Oh, mine was wildly moist, yeah. It's nasty as fuck, though. So. Oh, God. I don't, there's I, nothing redeeming in this. I don't like it. It's got an 11 for me. I, I love raisins. The fuck I, I is wrong these, with you? The taste. I, 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 I like the presentation because it's different. It a, <laughs> a, a nine on taste. No. I mean, it's different from everything you've had because it's like, hey, it's fruit. It's kind of healthy. Uh, no. Oh, shut no. up. Shut up, Ray. So mean to me. But texture, it was a two. Oh. I mean, even though it was oh. different. Oh, and the last two are the wee worst of all of these pies. God. So the next one's the jelly know? cream pie, which was my least looking forward to. God, by the time we make it to those banana twins, we're going to be fighting each other. <laughs> like fist fighting. This I got a four for me. It. I got a five. For no I reason. got a five, but only because I thought the texture was good for it. I didn't think the texture was good at all. Fuck, man. Chuck, if I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. If Y'all we don't sucked like new as things. much homo, hobo dick as you did, we'd probably think it was good too. All right, jelly cream pie. God damn, with their fucking cream, Nathan. This, I see why you don't like strawberry. Because this has more of like a medicine-y, like a medicinal artificial taste compared to that other one. Yeah. Nathan's going full on wine tasting with this. He's just I, like I can't, taking a bite. And I can't spit it in the I, bag. I'm gonna throw up. So I'm just taking the flavors in, moving around my tongue. I'm spitting out. This does smell like medicine. I do not like that one either. That is just. I, I will say though, if you're listening, I I think our. Palette has been just absolutely over wrong. It is. We're at 19 now, so. If you had a cavity, your tooth is gone by the time we get home. I'm just having to drink so much water and rinse my mouth out with this coffee. <sighs> All right. I'm just going off memory off of both of, most of these because there's so much like film so from much, these. So much sugar already. Yeah. This is what we do for you guys. For our 250th episode, we torture ourselves just for you. Nathan, I, I, seen, I, seen, off. I right. see Nathan over there with his cosmic brownies. He's going to still take home. Whoa! Whatever. Those are for Christy. Okay. Jelly uh, cream pies. All right. Have we rated them? Are y'all rating them? Overall, right. four. Four. One, two, and a one. Yeah. Actually, I had one, two, and a one. That's fine. It gets a six for me. I think it gets twos across the board. So, opening this marshmallow one one. pie banana, I want to go to Little Debbie headquarters and fight whoever invented this ugly fucking thing. Oh, see, I think it, as these cookies go, it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's Number one is the color yellow. It is so yellow. And I hate, I hate yellow. yellow. I hate yellow as a primary color. I'm not a fucking Green Lantern. It's like my fucking... Oh, my fucking God. Uh-uh. Oh, it smells atrocious. <laughs> See, I. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. Fuck that. You got to, ma'am. All right. See, my first bite, I peeled some of the cookie that off. That was too big of a bite, Nathan. 
It says so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes terrible. Oh. oh. Okay, so I've officially picked the two. I did pick the two worst. Guys. Three. I, well, that's a three. I'm, I've got to take the second bite. Oh, but I'm going to need took a two minute. bites in one. I took uh, literally Ray. Oh. I ripped some of the cookie off and then I grabbed some of the marshmallow for the second bite. I had to throw my plate away with that one. That one was disgusting. Yeah, it's. If you like bananas, fuck you. I love bananas, but that's I, garbage. I if like you real like, bananas. Yeah, yeah, if you like said. artificial bananas. Yeah, I don't know anybody like artificial bananas. Artif- like, it's who? the worst flavor. Where is the, Ugh. the fucking demographic of people that are buying fake banana flavors? I want to meet them because I don't believe they exist. I think this is like the Illuminati just trying to fuck people over. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever had. <sighs> You ever had banana soda? It's just as bad. What? I can't, I can't lean over the table to hand these. Banana, so, no, I've never had banana soda. It tastes like beer. Like a bad beer. Mm. I'm just going to wait till you put them all right there. All right, we're passing out some cakes now. <laughs> this is the last category. Never thought I would cry. And we have none on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to cry. This is so bad. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so, Katie, I'll use your tears. Katie asked, "What what's going on?" I'm like, "I told her keep praying for me." <laughs> she said, "What? You guys still haven't finished eating?" I said, "Nope." She says, oh, "I gosh. swear to God, you better be prepared to poop outside. I can't handle it stinking up the house." This is what happens when, like, kids Ooh. go to Halloween and want to eat all their candy in afterwards one in one sitting. We're doing that as adults. <sighs> I'm legitimately going to throw it. Oh, you are? Well, that'll be a palate cleanser. <laughs> okay, so just do two of that. <laughs> um, he's he's going to come back and finish. Yeah. Dude, I'm... Take his keys. Take his keys so he can't leave. We'll just get a fucking Uber. <laughs> no, I'll have to drive home like last week. That was fun. Did y'all get one of these? Uh, Not yet. Yeah, that's y'all. I will split that. Like a lot of these we could split. <laughs> um, Eddie said I can't be barfing all night either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not barfing. I'm literally, I'm starting to get a headache. Yeah, this much no, sugar. If, if I try, I tried leaning over to hand those things to you, and it was I, no. <laughs> All right, the zebra first cake. one we have on this one is zebra cakes. <sighs> so we're gonna pop these open while Nathan's uh, oh. making some room. This is why we had to make rules. <laughs> Because I knew all of us were going to be like, oh, fuck that. Ooh. Ooh, but we're, but constant listener, we're going to keep pushing through. Birthday. One, two, three, four. There's five and then four that chocolate are... Chocolate fancy ones. You have chocolate fancy. Yep. TJ. Or you just want to break it in half. Fuck, we should have just been doing that. Let's just do that. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right. <laughs> Zebra cakes and then fancy cakes. That's these. That's these white ones. Whoa, whoa, bro. Where the? There were no Christmas. There were no Christmas tree holiday ones. No, unfortunately, there weren't. Fuck. Oh, it's not in Christmas. the middle of August. You'd be surprised. Or July. You'd be surprised. I don't see any mermaid ones either. You can order the uh, the Christmas tree ones off Amazon for like thirty bucks. Yep. You fucked that. You okay, Nathan? No, none of us are okay. <laughs> Well, I haven't yacked yet, but I'm just wondering if, if he's good. Dude, he looks like shit. Always. Feel good. Are you diabetic yet? <laughs> All right, zebra cakes. Should have got some of these testing strips or something. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
the overall morale in this room is pretty low. It's it's really <laughs> low right now. Rock bottom. <laughs> But let's 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 talk about this. Both the uh, the zebra cakes and the fancy cakes, because I had to break those apart. Because we have they're in a two pack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm having a hard time thinking. Yeah. Um, they both look presentation wise, they don't look appetizing because nothing would look appetizing right now. No. Um, but these these are good looking cakes for a little Debbie. Oh, it's a hexagon. Yeah. Uh, I I agree. The fancy cakes, yes. These mm, awesome. zebra cakes look good. All right, I'm diving in. <sighs> Nathan, are you the first casualty? <laughs> I said I was diving in, and you know, like when you go to jump in, like the springs or a cold swimming pool, and you run up to, and then you're like, oh wait a second, <laughs> I had that moment, like, oh not yet. Yeah. Fuck. Super sweet. Same. But better than the roll again, huh? Yeah, it's much better than the than the roll. Mm. Mm. I well, I can profess one thing about this. After tonight, guys, I never want to fucking eat another one of these again. Yeah, if you want to be cured of a little Debbie addiction, just do this exercise. Fuck, I guarantee by the nineteenth one, you're, you're my jaw just this started up. pulsating when I've been into that. Mm. Not in a good way, little Debbie. Nope. Yeah. And here's the bad thing. <laughs> Everything's starting to taste the same, so my scores are reflecting it, and I'm trying not to. Nathan, see your cake. <laughs> <laughs> Give the man a minute. No, he's had a minute. He he evacuated either his bowels or his mouth. He's sitting there. Fuck, the fancy cake's worse. <laughs> I always were. I'm in my head trying to give myself a pep talk, and I just can't do it. Just put it in your mouth. That's the pep talk you need. I've seen it on Pornhub plenty of times. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. (sighs) Talking about the cakes. Just do it, Nathan. Do it. No. Okay. Would you want to see... Listen, let's... We're we're at like 20-something. Let's get rid of the two-bite rule. You have to take a bite. Yeah. But that's it. Because this is just... We have eight more to go. This is we two... Have eight bites, guys. This is getting two bites. Yeah, so we they can do be, eight bites. Yeah, I can they do gotta eight be, bites. Yeah. Big bites. We can do, we can do eight bites. Because this is getting brutal. It is. It is. Yeah. Like, but I did the fancy cake. <laughs> I jumped ahead. It does look good. Yeah. It does have a good texture. I fucking hated these as a kid. No, they taste nasty. What? Well, I... Overall taste ones down the whole board now. <laughs> They're okay. Uh, not as bad as I remembered. Yeah. I think I actually liked that better than the zebra cake. Did you? Yeah. I liked it worse. That zebra cake was just so overwhelmingly sweet. This kind of had a not as sweet. Yeah, I'm giving it an eight. Oh fuck! Coffee's not helping you. No. He sees what's next. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't buy those. I actually bought one thing that was good. Fig bars. Those were fine. I wouldn't go good. <sighs> Compared to some of this bullshit we've put in us. All right, so we're moving on to the banana twins. And another lesson from Pornhub. <laughs> what was it again? I, I missed what I said. It's good compared to some of the other shit we put in us. Yes. The uh, smell of these <laughs> banana twins is atrocious. <laughs> the smell almost made me throw up. When you said smell, I'm like, oh, I should smell it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, <Nathan. laughs> I can only imagine this is what it smells like. Oh god, this is what hell smells like. I was gonna say, like, because I smoke and it's a horrible thing. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Where's the banana? Oh, the oh fuck. <laughs> god damn you. And it's, that that cream is grainy oh. as fuck too. Oh, oh. Oh god. 
God. <laughs> I've yet to take a bite because I know these are horrible. It keeps coming back. <laughs> I know these are horrible. I've yet to take a bite. I'm afraid. Oh, oh these are so bad. <laughs> oh. I want to goalpost punt someone's balls to the moon who likes these things. Good God. That I want to find the guy that invented them. They're fucking terrible. That had no redeeming value no. to it at the all. The texture of the cake. But it, the texture, was it too? That's the only redeeming thing. But the cream is a, so grainy. No, the cake. The texture I don't of care. The cake. I'm talking about the overall thing. And the, oh, yeah. the, the whole thing, it had that grainy ass, stupid. Ugh. I I'm wish I could the put banana rose on something. Yeah. I'm chewing on the banana peel. This is what it tastes like right, right now. Birthday cake's next, guys. That would taste good. Six One's away. Birthday cake. Birthday cake's got the the, uh, the funfetti on it. I know this one's just going to taste like sugar. It looks all. Right. It looks good. It looks fun. <laughs> looks fun in the middle. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for laughing at your misfortune. It's the only thing getting me through this. Oh. <laughs> Nathan is still in the room with us, and he is still trying cakes. I know he hasn't spoken since he left to go throw up. He's kept his mouth, his face in that bag. It's nibbles. This is too Dude, your tongue is sweet, sweet, Nathan. I believe that. <laughs> Oh, I hate birthday cake flavor and everything. I do, mm-hmm. too. Uh, looks-wise, though, that one looked good. Looked all right. I'll give it a four. Four is a little I'll extreme. Give it a three. For the look. Texture, three. Two. Overall taste, one. It's got overall seven for me. Eight, six. Okay, orange cream cake. This is the one I'm looking forward to. Awesome. Now no. I... <laughs> no. Oh. Five more. Yeah, we can make this. We can do this. We've got we've done twenty five already. What's thirty? Who was the idiot that suggested us do thirty <laughs> two? Chuck. Somebody mentioned bracket before me, but regardless, this is this is the penance I'm paying for all the mistakes and failures of my life. Fuck you. We're all paying. We're having to all pay for failures. It. Well, this wasn't my idea. I'm along for the ride. Dick. The the thing that I'm least looking forward to is I know all of the sugar is going to give me a massive headache later. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> has a nice citrus flavor. Yeah, it has a smell. smell. No, those orange slices, the candy orange yeah. slices, is exactly what that tastes like. I think I like. I think I. It tastes like could, a marmalade. I think if almost. we had started the other way around, taste goes marmalade. But I get what you're saying. That sugared orange slice, the gummy one, yeah, yeah, and it tastes like a cleaner, like a citrus cleaner, also. I think if we had gone the other way around, um, I could like these. More. Mm. I don't know. Higher look. I do like the look. nice citrus aftertaste that I have in my mouth. Yeah, that's much better than the other shit I've had. Oh, there. that banana one! I I wanted to punch someone. Banana twins. Fuck are those? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck banana twins. All right. Fudge dipped strawberry cake. Nathan, I love you, man. <laughs> this, one, this one looks okay, but the colors aren't as good as on the the orange cream one. I guarantee it's going to be a repeat of the orange one. I guarantee it. I mean, it's fudge instead, but at this point, I can't the, taste the difference between fudge and or no, their orange. version of fudge. <laughs> At right. this point, too, I don't think anybody's swallowing this stuff. I am still. Oh, Ray's still swallowing. I'm just not. Just because I don't, 
I've gone through. Uh, I don't I'm, know why. <laughs> I can't even explain it. All right. Well, now we're on the to, purpose uh, of I think science I should have been and research. Spitting out the whole time. Yes. Frosted fudge cakes. This is going to be. This is going to be hard because this is going to be very sweet. Which ones? Oh God. Oh, but it's chocolate fudge frosting in the middle. But it tastes the same. As what? As the normal frosting in the middle. So it's just dark. <laughs> I gotta take a nap. <sighs> so we're just doing a bite, just open one. Did you just... Okay, because I saw your head go like... Eh. Down, I'm like, oh god, no. I was super fucking... <laughs> I said it would be funny. I didn't say we should do it. No, we and should have been record like Nathan showed up with this. twenty little Debbies at my house. Oh <sighs> yeah, I give that an eight. But dude, it's <clears throat> this would have been better if it was like a two part thing instead of going full be, blast. Yeah, it wouldn't be as good for everyone else. I think. I'm breathing so heavy over here. Yeah. yeah. And having a hard time breathing. And my head Having hurts. a hard time focusing. Yes. Two more. I'm just writing down random numbers, it feels like now. I'm still trying to be honest. I'm but trying. It's, it's, everything is starting. Like I can still taste the orange and the strawberry after eating the chocolate fudge one. Yeah, I'm trying not to let Because water's not doing it. the trick. And I don't want to drink any more rum. No, no. Any more strong flavors at this point, and I'll and I'll be gone. As oh, far yeah. as like joining Nathan, some yeah, definitely. <coughs> Which one are we on? Devil cream cakes. Yeah, devil cream cake. You so we have devil cream cake suck. and a cookies and cream cake. Put it, TJ. Yeah, just do that. And Nathan has a frosted fudge cake. These I hated these. These suck. Yeah, these they're look nasty. Well, they're not nasty. It's just as a no, kid. They, they look nasty. Yes. But they're just bland. Like, the cake is does not seem like it's that moist. The cake is not moist. Because literally, I just went like this after TJ broke his piece off. I went like this, Ray. Squeezed it and just like, whoosh, everything tried to go out. And that's like just fucking water and sugar right there. Ugh. Nope. All right, one left. Nathan's got three left. If he if he makes it, he's not going. If he lives, so he can't bail out on us. That literally just tastes like cocoa powder and sugar. Yeah, yeah. So it hasn't changed. They haven't changed the recipe since I was a kid. Oh, this cookies and cream one looks nice, though. <laughs> it's got a fun look to it. Looks like a abstract art. Break off half or a piece of it. Okay. <laughs> look, I'll give the look the first five I've had. I, I, do, I do like the look of it. Oh, God. Oh, you just choo choo and get rid of. Yeah, okay. I'm, just not, I'm not swallowing any. I'm having a very hard time taking a bite of this one. Give it a foreign look. I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm not, not mad, mad at, at it either. This actually is not bad. Nathan's Wait. tapping out. Oh. You only have three more to go, though. I declare on the podcast, I have the biggest vagina. I'm going to give that 13. I like that. I just can't. I think you're the dumbest person I know (laughs) (laughs) to be 30 (laughs) little Debbies in and be like, you know, I like that one. (laughs) This is my favorite. (laughs) Now, my favorite is the peanut butter crunch, but no, I, I don't think I've ever had these. I like that. That's pretty good. It else wasn't is- bad. 
It was middle of the road on everything. I thought the look was a four, but the other stuff was a three. <laughs> no, I thought it was a lot better. But... Oh, gosh, guys. <sighs> so what's the next dumb fucking thing we're doing? We Hunter are challenge? very sweaty. I'm not sweating yet. I'm, sh- I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. And uh, uh, this is not. I know. Oh. But the air conditioner is like blowing right on me. So. Number one, fuck little <laughs> Debbie's. <laughs> My biggest surprise is that this is I'm stupid still alive. and we did this. I think the biggest surprise, honestly, was the strawberry shortcake roll. For me, it was. Oh, oh yeah, for you. I thought you meant as a whole. I'm like, you're wrong. All right, we're going <clears> to <throat> push pause on the podcast, do some math, and we'll get back with y'all in just a second. How do you break a tie? <laughs> if you had to eat a bar right now, which one would you eat? <laughs> <laughs> range for different numbers oh okay at this point i don't think anything would have got over a five anyway that's true um do you have any new favorites i don't think i'll ever eat a little debbie again yeah i fucking hate little debbie maybe a honey bun still (laughs) (laughs) or those peanut butter ones do i have a new favorite no i do Oh. oh Okay, so now we're going to do, like... Yeah, right there. Biggest surprise. Mine was the strawberry shortcake roll. Ooh. Um. Big bars were surprisingly good. Okay, give... Lost my pen. Give me... Give me your cosmic brownie numbers, uh, starting with TJ. Top. The total score? Well, yeah, his total score. Or the breakdown. Cosmic, right? Yeah, yeah. just cosmic. Chuck. Five. Me is a seven. Oh. Six plus five plus seven plus Nathan. Eleven. Oh, would it still get that number? <laughs> no, probably not. We had to eat a cosmic brownie <laughs> at the end. I would have thrown up easily. Okay, turtle brownies, TJ? Eight. Chuck? Eight. Nathan? Seven. Yeah, you can't let it settle, TJ. You can't let it settle. So the highest rated brownie is the turtle brownie. Yeah, well, there's only two options. All right, TJ Pecan Spin Wheel. Chuck. It sucked. Four. Nathan. Thirteen. Our highest one so far. All right, Donut Sticks. Uh, TJ. Chuck. Seven. Nathan. Seven. All right, honey buns. TJ. Chuck. Seven. Nathan. Nine. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. All right. Chocolate cupcakes. TJ. Chuck. Seven. Did you rate anything over seven? Uh, Nathan? Eight. (laughs) There's other things I had. All right. Our highest miscellaneous was a tie between pinwheels and honey buns. Tie goes to honey bun. I think that's a fair tie. I'd probably choose honey bun, though. Thank you. Yeah. Because you get more. Right now, I am not concerned about that. All right, Swiss rolls. <clears throat> TJ. Five. Chuck. Six. 
Different number, Ray. Three. Six. <coughs> Probably the lowest thing so far. Uh, zebra cake rolls. TJ. Ten. Chuck. Nine. Nathan. Uh, zebra. Nine. Oh, that's our highest ranked one yet. That one? It's because everyone ranked it a five for looks, probably. Boston oh, Cream yeah. Pie. TJ? Uh, okay. uh, Chuck? Six. Eight here and... Yep. Because mm, that uh, taste was... Strawberry shortcake, TJ? <coughs> uh, Chuck? Seven. A strawberry shortcake? Yeah. Strawberry shortcake, what didn't look good. Nathan? Yeah, it got a nine. one for the looks. Nine? Yeah, nine. <clears throat> All right. Highest ranking roll is the zebra cake roll. I don't really like any of them, so... Yeah. I'm not going to riot over that one. All right, bars. Peanut Butter Crunch Bar, TJ. Chuck. 11. Plus 12. Nathan, 12. That's our winner so far. One. Star Crunch, TJ. <coughs> Chuck. 13. Nathan? 14. There's our new winner. Yeah, it was damn near perfect. Uh, Nutty Bar, TJ? 11. T uh, this one, Nathan? 13. No, I don't think I had a 15. I didn't give me anything perfect five. Uh, Nutty Bar is our new winner. How's the thing? That beat out Star Crunch? Tell me what you had again, TJ? What'd you have? Oh, I had 11. Okay. And I had a 13 and... I had a 13 also. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, salted caramel cookie bar. DJ. Eight. Wolf plus Nathan. Nine. Oops. It would look, I gave it a one on looks. I thought it was really ugly, but it, had a four <laughs> it was. Four. Can, we, can we start that one over again? Sorry, TJ. Salton. Chuck. Eight. And, and what did you give it, Nathan? Nine. Nine. These are our highest rated overall category so far. They were all different. Yeah. Um, fig bar. Ten. Nathan. Eleven. Nutty bar. All right, highest rated pies. This is where everything started going downhill. Uh, oatmeal cream pie, TJ. Eight. Eight here, and Nathan? Thirteen. All right, fudge rounds, TJ. Oh, shit. Oatmeal cream pie was a nine. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, nine plus. Chuck? I had an eight. TJ? Yeah. Okay, fudge rounds. TJ? Good. Seven. Nathan? Th Thirteen. All right, PB cream pies. TJ? 12. Both of you? Yeah. 14 <laughs> here, and Nathan? 11. Close. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't, didn't beat. Uh, raisin cream pie. 11. 5. Uh, plus 5. 5. That's our lowest so far. 
fucking like no, it. No, it's not Swiss rolls. It's lower. Yeah. All right, jelly cream pies, TJ. Four. 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 That's our lowest. No, uh, you got marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, pie, we, we just hadn't got there yet. TJ, give that one a five. Yeah, three. Yeah. Four and you're three. Three. You like mustard? I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, zebra cakes, TJ. Oh, hold on a second. My note on that one is wrong. <laughs> He's not lying. Right there. Oh, I hit my nose. All right. So, what did you have seven on that one? Chuck. Same. Um, Nathan. Eight. All right, fancy cake. Eight. Five. I think Nathan's scores are going to start plummeting. Banana, mm-hmm. banana twins. Three. Four. I have you a three. Because the texture of the cake. Five. Five? Someone got wild here. Well, I thought the look wasn't that bad. <laughs> Um, birthday cakes. Hey, what did you put for banana twins, Ray? Well, uh, three. Okay. Five. Eight. Is that Nathan? Or Five. Chunks are going up. His palate really kicked in. <laughs> it must have. All those cigarettes had killed his palate and it reawoken with all this sugar. <clears throat> all right. Orange cream cake, TJ. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. Chuck. The orange one, nine. Well, it, yeah, the, the next couple are pretty high because of the looks of them. Um, Nathan? Seven. Were you here for that one? Okay. Fudge dipped strawberry. EJ. Chuck. Nine. Seven. Zero, zero. Can you can you do you think you can score them? Yeah. Just look at them. <laughs> yeah, I thought, the f- yeah, you know what they taste like now. <laughs> All right, frosted frosted fudge cake, TJ. Same. Nine. Devil cream cake, TJ. Same. Same. <laughs> no, if you would if you would have tried a piece, you would have literally done the same thing. Cookies and cream. TJ. Chuck. Thirteen. Nathan. Um, Tastes like an Oreo cookie, but a little Debbie made. Like Ten. Thank you. It's got to win the cake. It win the cake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the highest ranking. Well, let's see. 17. Oh, got a 15. <laughs> Marshmallow banana got 15. Uh-oh. And that's it. Everything else got like much higher. There's a 17 at one point. So it's between banana twins and banana cream. So anything. We could put both of them. If we, we, just want. Hate, we just hate bananas. <clears throat> and what was the highest ranking overall? Oh, okay. Don't have it on your. And the highest ranking is. Oh, you didn't write the numbers down. Fifty-one was Nutter Butter. I thought there was something that got higher. Though. Nutty bars. Yeah, because it was peanut butter crunch bars, then it got beat by star crunch, then nutty bars. Oh, you're right. Peanut butter, yeah. So 51 nutty bars. All right, let's go back in. 
Oh, does everyone have like their? Did we already do the biggest surprise? Yeah, we'll we're gonna do that. And we're All back. Right. We're back. Hi, everybody. We're we feel not dead. a lot better now, right? No. God, no. <laughs> we feel worse. <laughs> I am indifferent. To the f I haven't thrown up yet. I haven't either. But I will Me say neither. one thing that is very weird is how difficult it is to think and yes. do math problems and come up with words right now after <laughs> eating this much sugar. <laughs> Multiple times I would go around the table and be like, TJ, um, who, Chuck, Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, and Nathan, Nathan, yeah, okay, like, I'm moving at a slug speed, that's very interesting, because yeah. you, you, you hear stuff like that about, like, this kind of sugar and stuff, but yeah. we really... I've stumbled upon something. Yeah, we, we do not need to tell our doctors we did this. <laughs> we, no, never. <laughs> Dumb people, long time. <laughs> Eat money cake. <laughs> How many drinks do you have a week? And you're like, uh, as long as you don't ask about my one-time little Debbie consumption. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so we ha we went through, and we had different categories. <clears throat> oh, God. And uh, so we added up our overall scores. Yeah. And uh, highest ranked brownie, there were only two, but the turtle brownie came up much more high than the uh, the cosmic brownie. Oh, yeah. Out of all the <clears throat> miscellaneous things and all, uh, the pinwheel and the honey bun uh, match for score. I want to recount. That pinwheel was garbage. They, they, oh. they were both some of the higher ranked of all the challenge. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the highest ranked roll, zebra cake roll. But we will say that is... A lot to very do with the presentation. Yeah, it's very deceptive yes. yeah. rating on that one. But we'll also say none of the rolls were very good. No. No, there's some Sorry. disappointing no. ones. I, I'd say if you got to get a little Debbie, steer clear of the rolls. Pass on the roll. Yes. Uh, highest ranked bar or cookie? Uh, the Nutty Bar. The, yeah. We love the Nutty Bar. Yeah, but I think three of the bars topped pretty much everything else on the we're list. Almost yeah. at 50s. So the Peanut Butter Crunch Bar, the Star Crunch, and the Nutty Bar were our absolute. They were they were all up in the running. Um, the highest ranked pie was the Peanut Butter Cream Pie. Yeah, yeah. And this was when we started get it started getting rough uh -huh. you know, once we hit the pies. Uh, the highest rated cake ended up being the Cookies and Cream Cake, which funny enough. Was the last uh, cake, the last little Debbie at all? We ate. Yeah, uh, and I think it's forever skewed because Chuck really thought it was pretty. Yeah, I, it's it's a bunch of crumbled cookies on top of a cake. So compared to the rest, I mean, it's got a nice abstract yes. feel to it. I I get it. So I mean, that's it. Got a higher thing for me on that. So our two lowest ranked, we we had some that tied. The worst ones. Um, I bought one of these. Was my contribution? Yeah, I wouldn't Thank be bragging for, about. No, that. no, I'm just saying there is a lesson to be learned here. The banana twins and the banana marshmallow pies were, were they're disgusting. They're so horrible. They were so bad. If it's um, not a banana you're peeling and eating, stay away from yeah, it. Um, man, those banana twins were fucking harsh. Ooh. That was really hard to I do. I thought you were going to lose it off that marshmallow one. Oh, that, that marshmallow that one. bite, and then... Mm -mm. I think right after that was when we were like, okay, well, let's not do the two-bite rule. Yeah, no, yeah, it was in the cakes, but it was that helped a lot. I it had did. a hard time with that. It was, yeah. And then after all of that, the uh, the highest ranking of all was, of course, the Nutty Bar, because it won our bars and cookies, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a delicious. So if you got to get a little Debbie... Yeah. Go Nutty. Go Nutty Bar. It's, yeah. Um, I would recommend not doing this. 
No. Um, I recommend somebody stepping this challenge up. Yeah, I... Uh, no. Yeah. We, we, we I will talk, not be held we, responsible for that. We only did... Um, People out there eating Tide Pods and stuff. This is a little Debbie. Yeah, this might be worse. Um, we only did the individually wrapped ones because there are like donuts and little muffins and shit like that. And fuck that. Fuck yeah. this. Fuck yeah. this. Yeah. Fuck, fuck this. all y'all. Because there's fuck actually all y'all. Quite a few that we did not partake in. Yeah, we we left a lot of them off. Like well, they got like these little cherry pies and little apple pies. And that, that, pies. Might have, that might have actually been. Well, like like, well, a, like an a great turnover. Turnover. I couldn't have done anything else. <laughs> yeah. If there was one more thing in front of me that they're like you have to eat this, I I'd bow out. I want to go downstairs and just pour salt in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just wash my mouth out with salt. Well, we hope that this was somewhat entertaining. We, we hope so because we fuck. hate ourselves for it. Yeah. And uh, from there, we sign off, and we'll be. We'll try and come back a little quicker next time with another update. Uh, but be on the lookout. If Stuff should die. be coming out soon. So, yeah. As always, thank you for listening to Nerds Get Laid. Sometimes. We're signing off. Goodbye. Bye. Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes is recorded at the illustrious Big Brown Record Town Studios in beautiful downtown Lake City. Episodes are published each Monday on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, and Google Play. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nerds who get laid. We're at nerds who get laid on Twitter and Instagram. We're part of the Geeks Worldwide Podcast Network. You can find reviews and articles we write at thegww.com. We're also part of the Modest Pod Podcast Network. We're on floridageekscene.com and also we be geek pc.com please subscribe rate and review us on itunes stitcher radio and podbean you can also check out the show notes for links about things we talked about in this episode thanks so much this has been a production of the gww radio network please don't forget to subscribe rate and review us on itunes stitcher and soundcloud also, check out Geeks Worldwide at the GWW.com for all the latest news, reviews, and opinions on video games, comics, movies, TV, cosplay, and more! Geeks Assemble! Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches thieves just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man.